All right, we're gonna play some Baldur's Gate 3. Let's get to work, guys. So when last we played Baldur's Gate 3, uh, we were in the Underdark getting fucking wrecked by robots, and I don't know what to do about the fucking robots at all. Don't know what to do about that shit, but we're gonna figure it out. I guess I'm not getting anything done. We're getting fucking wrecked by robots. Yeah, dude, those robots are fucking kicking my ass. That's a rough one. Oh, hang on. Let me uh, do this. Show me how to beat Darkest Dungeon 1. I'm losing too many heroes. Uh, I would show you, but I just did a giant Darkest Dungeon playthrough. I just did one. I, w I would play more Darkest Dungeon. I inspired you to replay this game. What's up, uh, Hung Solo? How's it going? Get good. I did. The, the final boss did fucking destroy me recently. I have a new respect for it. Okay, so here we are in the Underdark. We're in this tower. If I ride up this elevator, I die. Uh, we, we've I died to that fight multiple times. I don't know what to do about that. I feel like... There is something here I have to discover, but I don't know what. It's like something here I have to find. No traps, please. Same. I'm like looking around. It sounds like whenever you go upstairs, it sounds like he's like reading something or he's like um he's quoting something to me uh, i don't know on death and resurrection like there might be like maybe there's something in one of these books or something let's see uh i just started playing just now i uh this i'm gonna put this playthrough on youtube i think i think i am gonna put it on youtube it's probably gonna be unedited too so it's gonna be a long series also i thought we had solved it because i had uh lazel translate something but uh that wasn't it i thought that was it okay let's rebound Okay, something about clerics who are able to bring the dead back to life. Um, something about a bullet is not a pet. Uh, isn't this what he says? Is it the foe that foul contemptuous heal? Art thou friend a rescue from my love? Isn't, isn't this what he says to me? Something like that. Can I like take it? Yeah. Maybe I need to like bring the book to him. I, f I feel like I read that before, right? All right, let's let's go ahead and save. Let's try going upstairs to see if that does anything. We're gonna get past the first act of this game. I think this is still we're in this we're still in the first act. Oh, remind me to save frequently, by the way, guys. All right, let's see. What's he got? That is what he says. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Uh, or art thou friend to rescue from my lonely wake? That's a really easy security system to get around. Uh, the silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hand for just a while? His hands close around the air next to your face, as if he's taking the hands of someone taller. What can I do? Say. Like <laughs> yes, please. Is he gonna like Lord crush Clyde. me?
Okay. All right, so he's not killing me. So that's that's good. Uh, yeah, these fucking guys, these animated armor guys, they're uh, this. They're not so bad, but Bernard is fucked up. Uh, let's see some broken machinery. Yeah, we're gonna talk to him. Hi, Bar. Glad to see you enjoying this game. I like turning on the lights. All right, let's see. What does he have to say? Slardy Blast. Thank you for the 33 months. Thank you, Slardy. Uh, what is this place? Who are you? Okay, so you are uh, fucking useless. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I wonder, uh, maybe... Um, Maybe we can actually give him command. We just need to know what the commands actually are. Like, maybe that's the problem. So if I take the broken, the pieces of machinery, I can make potions with it, I guess. Uh, thank you, Slardy Blast. Thank you, Fieri. Really appreciate the resubs, guys. Can't really talk to these guys, huh? Uh, is there anything else to do here? Was that was that it? Broken machinery. Huh. There's a ladder right there. Okay. These robots. This is an honor run. There are way more robots than on normal. Uh, I'm playing on tactician. Does tactician increase the number of enemies? I have no idea. I, this is my first playthrough. It's a tactician. Oh, wow. Really? I did not know that. <laughs> I swear, it really feels like this was a gigantic area that had, like, no purpose. It kind of it kind of feels like this was a gigantic thing that didn't do anything for me. Um, can I do something over here, maybe? Any golf in the future? Uh, probably not. Hmm. What's that? Oh, a lever. Hmm. What was that? What did that do? Good question. I have no idea what that did. Blast. I have no idea what that did. Uh, well, we threw the lever. More oh, broken man. machinery. I kind of wish I could kill this guy, because I wonder if I could get that fucking weapon. <laughs> more candles and ink pot save and try <laughs> oh hang on so this is the poem we just read these empty sheets are all that's left of you the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave What did that do? <laughs> it's so... It's so confusing here. What the fuck did that do? Cool robot. So there's literally nothing to do here. Um, Is there any way... Is there any possible way? Like, I think if he was alone, I think I could probably kill him. Born classic. Maybe if I brought him up here, I might be able to shove him off or something. Pickpocket? We could try that. Let's see. Close, one step at a time. Oh, it says you can't. Can't do that. 
no, no pickpocket. Um, oh wait, hey, oh we. So I just became. Hang on, I just became encumbered. Uh, I've got too much shit apparently. Uh, let's see, let's go send some stuff to the camp. Uh, Drumbum, thank you for the 45 months. Thank you, Drumbum. Gutierrez, age nine, always wanted a Nintendo console. However, due to being extremely poor living in Venezuela, it was just a distant dream. Using his creativity, he made a cardboard Super Mario game, posted it on YouTube and the video went viral. Man. Alchemist, fire, heart of stone, shitload of potions. I can send some of these books. I have a painting here I can send. Um... It would be nice to stop by and um, drop a lot of the stuff off at camp. I can't. Okay. Uh, so we can't pickpocket him. Now I wonder if I were. To, I'm trying to come up with like a good plan of attack here. Uh, Dumb chest. Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We can push him like right here. Um. I think possibly force tunnel could be good to do that. Let's go take a short rest. Oh, can I uh, examine him? So he is resistant to fire. He's resistant to lightning. He's resistant to psychic. He's resistant to poison. He's he's wow. He really is. He's resistant to fucking everything. He's yeah. He's he's a no joke motherfucker. I wonder if pushing him off would even kill him. Uh, all right, let's save. And uh, let's save. Attack him anyway, he's risen to that. I want to kill him because I kind of want his weapon. My plan is to kind of shove him off here, I think. That's my plan. So I suppose oh, let's... No. Uh, Go over here. Very, very quiet. How could you? He's standing there. How do you? What do you mean you have a low chance of hitting him? <laughs> All right. Well, let's turn that off, and now let's try shooting him. Uh. Sure. All right. Well, we pissed him off. Um. So if I go here, time to move. It says he's too heavy to shove. Now, I think Karlak and Gabnon could probably shove him. Too heavy for, still too heavy. Okay, so he does she does have a good chance of shoving him by doing that. Um So I want to shove him this way. That was the shove? That's all you got? <laughs> that was it? Uh okay, that wasn't a lot. Uh, what about, uh, is this the rush attack? Oh boy. 
You finish a lot of encounters by shoving shit. So if I go here... Okay, so that actually did work. If only he was a little bit closer. We, he wasn't close enough. That might be bad. Do you just wait to explain? Yeah, I mean, it, I understand it makes sense. I get it. Turn to the I'm in danger. This, this fucking guy is this robot guy. He is fucked. I figured we'd try, you know, why not? This is, this is the static overdrive thing. That's the thing that's bad. And his attacks are fucking crazy. Yeah, it's, it's real bad, dude. I think we're dead. If I hadn't missed the thing, we probably, we probably could have got him, but. Critical, I was trying to shove. And every time we hit him, it causes us more damage. Yeah, I think we're fucked. I was doing well. Well, I mean, I think my only way of trying to beat this guy would be shoving him, right? I think that's literally the only way I can possibly do this. Any white people happy there's in yeah. chat. Yeah, this, this is fucked. Let's go quick. Let's go load my quick save here. This is not going to happen. We're dead. Uh, thank you, Shindig, for the reset. Appreciate that. Does he have a lightning weakness? No, he's strong to everything, dude. He's strong to everything. Hmm. Can you craft potions? I actually have not crafted a single potion yet. Man, I really wish I could figure out how to fucking do this. The only thing that kind of worked at all was uh, the Eldritch Shove. Whatever comes, I'm ready. So if we get everybody right to the edge, you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get knocked off. Is what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. He's gonna run up here and do that shit to me. All right, let's try again. Happy days. There's been an attack nearby. It looks like you are suspected of being involved. Uh, you're in luck. I'm the culprit. It. At least you'll die with your conscience clean. Man, why does Gadnon have to go last? That's a bad dex, is that it? Uh, what about shoving these Barf guys? Got, got a pretty okay chance of shoving these guys. Okay. <laughs> So for some reason I why can't I wonder why can't I shove? Uh let's go and do brace. Oh, it's because of the potion. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. 
I don't think I have any spells with Shadow Heart. Disguise self, invoke, pass out a trace. See the next turn. Uh you know, when I do the shove, am I gonna also shove my guys off when I use Gabnon over there? <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> uh thank you very much. God dang it, Bobby, for the 31 months. Appreciate that. Um So with Guidance, Guidance is an ability check, but Bless is an attack roll. Would Guidance be better for the shove? I don't know if Guidance would be better than the shove. Only one way to find out. I don't know which one's better. For shove, it would be Guidance for the Eldritch shove. Okay. That would be for the athletic check. Right, right. Because an attack roll is just like the number, like how high is your damage kind of thing. Uh, I might also be yeeting my entire party off this tower when I push this guy. So we might, this might be kind of rough. All right. <laughs> Which way is he going to go? You gonna go that way? <laughs> uh, all right, there he goes. He took uh, 73 damage on the fall. We're all still here. Uh, <laughs> what's a yeet? <laughs> So, Karlak is in really rough shape here. Okay, and that guy just died, okay. He's got a long fucking way to go, doesn't he? Um, still not in great shape. You know, uh, Sterion really needs a better weapon. He really needs a better weapon. was a four and a six not 46 i kind of want to use the rage heart here bear heart so now i can also use uh what about show oh, so that i can't shove now though let's go ahead and heal Oh, oh man. I think Shadowheart almost just got fucking yeeted off this tower. Let's go ahead and heal. Oh, I can't, apparently I can't reach her. Uh, I can do this one here. Let's go heal Karlak. Okay, pick him up and toss him. 
I have a disadvantage against. I guess. I guess it's because you're in my face. That's why I have a disadvantage. Uh, can I concussion you? Let's see, what do you got? Uh, so you resist poison, but he doesn't resist everything else. So we can probably go ahead and smack you. As I don't think we're gonna do much damage here. But yeah, he's pretty strong. We got a low chance. Oh, but we hit him with the... Uh, oh, that was the fairy fire finally happened. Oh, okay. Incoming attacks have an advantage. Okay, cool. Fairy fire is pretty neat. Yeah, the other guys aren't too crazy. They're not too crazy. The other guys seem like they're fine. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and say adios. <laughs> and, uh... What does this one do? Weakening strike. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do weakening strike. So he saved on the weakening strike, but we hit him. <laughs> Alright, dude, he is fucking mad down there, isn't he? <laughs> Uh, we don't have a great chance at, uh, we don't have a great chance at actually hitting him. Yeah, that can't hit him. Uh, I wonder why does that hit twice? I wonder why does that hit twice? All right, bye. What? What bullshit? He's dual wielding? He only has one dagger out. I have an offhand weapon equipped? No, I don't. He's got one dagger equipped. He's OP. I thought I only had one dagger. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. It's the sneak attack that does that? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. The car like is still in rough shape. Take two. Okay. Yeah, these animated armor guys aren't too serious. Asterion does really need a better weapon for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Hey, we all leveled up. Nice. Okay, so we've got... Shithead is still downstairs molding at us. We still have to get down there. Um... He can't do a fucking thing about us. Let's see, do we have a throw? Equipped by Asterion. <laughs> so it turns out throwing all this stuff at them is, uh, I can throw a skull at somebody. <laughs> a throw a skull. Let's go. Oh, that's, hang on. That's because it's, uh, I'm, hang on. No, it's too late. I mean, I, I thought I was using Karlak. I'm an idiot. 
Uh, thank you very much, Banjo, for the resub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I was wondering why that throw wasn't going to work. Go run up and try to swing at him. Wow, great. Uh, all right, let's heal her again. She's in rough shape. Uh, Banjo K, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, do I have anything that can hit you? 30%. I don't think that's not going to be able to work. What about Guiding Bolt? No, I don't have enough of that either. Wait, what if I, uh, can I, like, get over here and now do it? There we go. All right, go ahead and try Guiding Bolt. Wow, 27. Holy shit. Nice job. Okay, wow, they really wanted to fucking murder him, apparently. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and... Um, Okay, now I'm going to hit everybody. Let's go ahead and do our big heal. Damn. I'm telling you, I never had a single fucking critical hit until I, until I turned off Karmic Dice. Not one fucking critical hit until I did that. Uh, let's go pop a potion here too. Let's find some prey. Yeah, I turned off karmic dice and every everything got significantly better for me. Jeez, man. Thank you, motherfucker, dude. How long? I've got it. Uh, 50 50. Let's try another uh, guiding bolt, I suppose. So we still have to kill Shithead downstairs. We still have to kill that guy. Still very much alive. Era of Roaring Thunder. Yeah, he doesn't have that much HP, but he's still like a huge threat. Um, I suppose let's just go ahead and shoot at you from here. Can, can he work the elevator? Fuck you. Put him up. The hammer's gonna fall. Does Carlac really only have one fucking potion? We should get her some more potions. Um. Two damage. God damn. Uh, if I leap over here, could that be enough to be able to still attack? Okay, yes it is. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So I'm thinking what we do is we hit shithead downstairs. We just like go after him with like crits. Uh, did, I don't know if he's coming. He might be coming upstairs though. Oh God, he's here. Okay, arrow of fire does more damage. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and save again. Give me the critical hit, please. He's only got 10 HP left. Twenty-five. What's the most likely thing I have? He's got four HP left. There's got to be something I could throw at him, right? Throw a sandbag at him. Now, uh, I have stuff on. I have like, uh, what do I have here? Poison's not going to work, obviously. I have like the fire stuff I could throw at him. I think. I don't. I don't know if that's a good idea. The like alchemist fire or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something would work on him, but I, I don't. I don't know. Can we throw water at him and short him out. Acid vial, antidotes, dark mine. I thought I had like a throwable thing. Maybe I don't. I know Gadnon's got a crit. Yeah, I know that. Well, this will this will is probably gonna hit him. All right, let's try this. I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and try to heal Carlac. Congrats on the kiddos. All right, so. Divine Smite. And we need a guaranteed crit here, please. Okay. Fucking god of that. Oh my god, dude. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Holy crap, fuck this Good dude. Good to have you back, Barb. Uh, yo, it's DNB. Thank you for the 36 months. Thank you very much, DNB. Appreciate that, man. Zyman, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Fuck yes. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to improve uh, her accuracy at all. Divine smite his ass. God damn you, son of a bitch. Shove his ass. God, raw everything. Fuck you, man. <laughs> wow, who is this guy? This guy is, he's impossible. He can't be beaten. He also apparently can't, I, apparently we're having all kinds of problems here. Give me crit. There we go. Fuck you, bitch. Crit his ass. Light of creation. Overcharge a chance to stun the wielder unless it is a construct. 
So it does damage and then it also does lightning. It's a two-handed halberd. Hmm. So I'm not really sure what overcharge means. It will stun you constantly. Well, yeah, I'm not a construct for sure. No, well, whatever. Either way, guiding light. Uh, it's lets you cast light, and he had a key, an antique key. Uh, had the key found an automaton, so we don't know what that's for. I wonder. If there's like maybe there's like another piece of gear we could find that would prevent me from getting stunned. Like maybe there's something we can do with that. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Let's 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 look around here. Well, that was a uh, that was a tough fight for sure. Uh, using that L um, that slug power of the uh, pushing him off the tower that did seventy damage. That was uh, that was good. We should also take a long rest. Now, what was the key for? Save. Yeah, yeah, I should level up. We're encumbered again. All right, let's go ahead and level up. I'll, I'll, I'm leveling, I'm leveling, relax. Ooh, eight HP, fuck yeah, dude. Barbarize. Extra attack? Can make an additional free attack after making an unarmed weapon or a weapon attack. Huh. So I can attack twice? Is that it? What does uh add class mean? What the hell does that mean? Oh, multi-class? Oh, okay. Trickery domain. Curse a creature with a touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks or saving throws. Fear. Okay. Level three spells are huge too. Uh, she also gained an extra attack and she also gained fast movement while not wearing heavy armor. I guess I could change her bestial heart if I wanted to. Uncanny dodge. Use your lightning quick reflex to protect yourself. When attack hits, you only take half the damage. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and give Karlak the heavy crossbow instead. And, uh... We need to do a long camp anyway. And that's the camp. These poor Shadowhearts been carrying around a barrel full of shit for so long. I need to go to, I need a shop is what I need. Uh, here, let me go to my healing potions here. Let's go uh, split item. And I'm going to give uh, some of those potions to her. Let me sort by uh, type. Okay. What's up, Nimbex? How's it going? If you run into an enemy strong uh, against range, it's all up to Gabnon. Uh, thank you very much, Jobin, hey, for 10 months. Happy holidays to you and the family. Thank you for everything you do. Can't wait for another year of great content and laughs. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get this stuff out of my inventory. Where's uh? I made two stacks of potions. Where's all my potions at? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna give Carlac some of these potions here. Uh, sorting your. I just I just sorted my items. Relax. We just did that. Okay. 
Okay, well, I, I guess we're good for now. Uh, all right, let's save. Uh, thank you very much, Job, and thank you, Old King Call. Appreciate that. Uh... I wonder what his key was for. What the fuck was this key for? shelf, a table. I'm gonna like look around and see if there's something in here. I know there's also this lever where we don't know what it does either. This one over here. I think it's over here. I don't know what this does either. I do know. Yeah, I know you can trade inventory around. You can do that too. It's like right th there. There it is. What that did. I have no idea what that did. Um, before I, I, I mean, once we leave here, I doubt we're ever coming back. Let me just look around. Oh, I really thought Shadow Heart and Lazel I did not want to talk to this guy. Artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. Hey, okay, bye. <laughs> There's something over here. Uh, I can attack this table. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Poor table. Table's fucking dead. Uh, shark attack. Thanks so much for the reset. Appreciate that. Blood. Parchment. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I guess we're done here. I guess we're done. Fuck that table. It knows what it did. I guess we're done here. I don't see what else to do. Uh, thank you, Shark Attack. Appreciate that. Maybe something over here. It could have something to do with that button we found that doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, that is that is a thing. Try the ring on. What was the ring I found? I found a ring. Mage's friend, guiding light. I guess I can wear it for free, right? I guess I can wear it for free. My ring lit up. Must have been linked to that button. So the ring is let it works with the button. Interesting. Did you try? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know a ring would actually like have an effect here. Thank you, Shark Attack. Thank you, Jobbin. So this button, so now because of this ring, now we can go to the basement? Oh, oh. oh. interesting. Scroll of chromatic orb dimension door. Hold person. <laughs> Fire bolt. I feel like after like a really tough boss or enemy, you there's always like a reward. Happy holidays to you. There's Yours always like you even get check. something for doing that. Barb slide. The fuck is basilisk oil? Uh, challenge phase. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. God, I have so many scrolls of magic. <laughs> like a ridiculous amount. Uh, thank you, challenge phase. Appreciate that. What level am I? We just got to level five. We just got to level five. Yeah, because... Apparently, this is a thing I have to do every day for the rest of my life. One of these days. One of these days, I'm going to pop and I'm going to buy a webcam that actually works. It's 
Staff of Arcane Blessing. Tongue of Madness. A Gilded Chest. What we got? Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Uh, ooh. The wearer can't be electrocuted. That's pretty cool. Drink to increase your size. Elixir of the Colossus. <laughs> and it lasts until a long rest. Uh, scroll of Feign Death. Thank you. Poison. Okay. Meat. So where does this go? Metal door. Uh, I am inside a box. Thank you for 29 months. Appreciate You've been that. sub longer than your babies. Do you love me more? Uh, Deaky Fleeky, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Okay, so Arcane Tower. Oh, that we were at the other side of this door, I think, and I couldn't do anything. Uh, what about this other door? Oh, is that? No, okay. Let's go ahead and go back up. Would that make Gabnon normal size? Uh, maybe, yeah. Okay, interesting stuff. Yeah, I haven't really changed anybody's classes yet. I know I can do that, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, so we are trying to leave the tower now. I guess we're done here. Okay, keep going up. Was this, uh, was this the way out? Uh, no, we gotta keep going up. Alright. What's up, uh, Corso? How's it going, dude? Okay, ascend once more, please. Oh, cursed to put my hands on everything. That our cleric spec line out the box is ass. I mean, I don't know. She's been pretty useful. She's able to heal and stuff. I don't know. She's been pretty useful as a character. Uh, I definitely like Bless. I've been trying, I've been using Bless a lot recently. What was the key for? I don't know. Uh, how the dude, how the hell did you get out of here? <laughs> how do I get out of here, man? Okay, we're back at the top again. I must have passed it. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, we're done in the arcane tower. Uh, we should go ahead and do a long rest too to get our skill point, or like all our shit back too. We should go ahead and do that as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a long rest here. Uh, maybe from the door in the basement. Okay, does anybody want to talk or anything? It doesn't look like anybody wants to talk, so I guess we're just going to bed. All right. Uh, okay. I wonder how many... Uh, I, sh I should, like, get more camp supplies. Uh, long rest sounds good right now. Uh, <sighs> a cleric that bolsters rogue powers and heal the group isn't very good for a pal. I don't, I don't care. You can just... You can... Spout off all the garbage you want. I don't care. It's all its all just Dungeons and Dragons gibberish to me. We're doing fine. Uh, let's see. We already went through all this. Let's look at the map. So I'm here, there. Where should I be? Maybe I should go back north and then down this way. We still haven't found a way to the Moonrise Towers. We still haven't found a way. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not really sure where to go. So let's keep going. Yeah, I have I have no doubt that there's ways to like min max and be and and you know play the game super well, but I also don't really care that much. It's in chapter seven, part eleven. Yeah, I remember these things fucking blow up.
Uh, Shadowheart, do you mind? Growing in a perfectly neat circle. Period. What is this? Pretty, but it doesn't do much. All right. Half this drow's body is crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. And a crystal or other. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I guess let's climb back up here. Hmm. Every time you hear Shadowheart, you think of Eagleheart. Looks like there's like somewhere to go over here. Interesting. Uh, I wouldn't consider that min-max a basic tune building. Why don't you build your fucking basic tunes and I'll build my fucking basic tunes. Make your characters do whatever the fuck you want, brother. You want to you wanna be all barbarians, all wielding salami? Then go for it, brother. I don't give a flying fuck. Um, where the fuck are we? Hmm. I don't really see where to go, right? Like, where the hell am I even going on the map here? I don't really see where to go. Yeah, yeah, I've saved. Oh, this just puts me right into the poison again. Uh, let's not, actually. It can't be, it can't be all, this is like back towards the entrance. It can't be that way. We never made it. I, how do I get over there? We never went over there. Like, jump across. <laughs> Salami gets you the tavern, tavern brawler. I actually could jump across here. <laughs> I actually could. Uh... There has to be a way that doesn't suck though, right? Um, ooh, if I go here, we could jump across this mushroom shit. I would just have to get back over there. Um, okay, uh, was I ever there? The game seems to think I can get there, so okay. There was also that enemy we were fighting here, and uh, he was almost dead, and then he fucking ran away from me, too. I think there's a way to not do this, but I don't know how. Okay, why do we stop? Oh, so we went this sideway, but we didn't go out the front door. That's that's what it is. We didn't go out the front door. So can I open this? Door is locked. the door is sturdy okay we can just smash it down with my hammer okay let's go ahead and save uh is this thing going to shoot me Okay, now how do I uh, how do I stop this from shooting me? There's a moonstone. Okay. The fire is shooting at us. Okay. 
learn something new every day. All right, so we haven't been this Thank far. Thank you. Uh, Retro Shinji, thank you for the 38 months. Thank you very much. Merriest of Christmas that. to you and yours. Hey, thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays, guys. Another chance I'll fit in there. Salt of the Chasm Creeper. Okay. Merle Christmas. I have a bunch of these. I. I should consider using these alchemist fire items. I have a lot of those. Uh, okay, let's keep saving. You never thought about breaking the stone. Uh, all weapons are good for throwing, in my opinion. Who the hell knows where or what we're doing? Huh. I wonder if this is the thing that was knocking me down the other place, too. Uh, you haven't already hold on the middle mouse button to look around. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, thank you. That's actually like the good kind of backseating. Rumbling Earth. Oh, boy. Multiple Minotaurs. Let's go ahead and bless up everybody. Now, Shadowheart, I'd like you to move your ass away, please. There's blood in the air. Leave no trace. This way. Uh, hang on. Let me turn on. I think I have my passive turned off here. Do. Okay, go ahead. Forty eight, goddamn. Holy shit, forty eight. That's a lot of fucking that's a lot of damage. Okay, keep hiding. <laughs> We examine this dude. Oh, he's resistant to slashing, but he's uh, vulnerable to bludgeoning. So that means he's going to be, uh, he's going to be pretty weak to Gabnon. Go ahead and rage up. And probably throw something at him. Incoming. Glad to see you back at it. DND can be a slot, but a rewarding one. Nito. Go ahead and throw this glaive at him. Oh, so I could also... I So this is my bonus action. Now I could also throw something else at him. Here, throw this shit at him, too. Critical miss. Mellow Ink, thank you for the 61 months. Smuggler Jedi, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. So I can't really reach him. I guess let's try to shoot him. Okay, and I guess let's try to shoot him again. Wow, bad rolls. There we go. Was this the fucker, this bullet? Was this the fucker I was fighting earlier? I think it was. He's back and he's like healed a little bit. 
I wonder if they'll uh if they'll start fighting. Oh yeah, they are literally gonna start fighting each other. Okay, cool. So if I Misty Step, that's going to take my attack this turn, right? Uh, Calio, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, it's a bonus? Oh. Misty Step is a bonus. Oh, okay. Kind of want to Misty Step right here. And just keep attacking, I suppose. Nice. My faith will protect me. Oh, so now I can do level three spells. That's really cool. Neat. Um, so Sacred Flame is a cantrip. Let's just go ahead and do Sacred Flame. It's like free. Okay, and we're going to hope that uh, hopefully Gabnon can finish him off. Okay, nice. Amulet of the Unworthy grants resistance to slashing and vulnerability to bludgeoning. Oh, interesting. That could be good. Okay, so... The other dudes, they're fucking each other up right now. That's good. What's up, Atlas? How's it going? Notice me, senpai. Consider yourself noticed. What's up, tiger? How's chat today? Chat's on good behavior because they want uh, they want marbles. So they're on their best behavior. Over here. Let's cut the fire, baby. Um, she's okay. I think her rage is gonna end. Let me go, uh, heal Asterion here. Kind of want to let these guys fight. I don't want to let these guys fight. Uh, yo, Atlas, thanks so much for the gift sub. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Bye forever, pal. Wait, did that did that enemy just disappear again? He did, didn't he? He fucking disappeared again. still blessed for a lot of turns. Thank uh, you. Go to Asterion again. Nothing will stand in my way. And another step forward. I'm gonna try to spread out here a little bit because I think the Minotaur he's gonna be yeah here he comes. Um, so the only the reason why the other guy was weak to slashing was I guess he was wearing the amulet, I suppose. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, has I, have I played Street Fighter 6 on stream? If so, I missed it. I played Street Fighter 6 a while ago, Eeyore. Uh, I got to uh, Diamond 4 or something with Honda. Like, I, I was actually, like, really good with Honda. Just like old times. No All right, let's go ahead and bite him. You missed it? Oh, yeah, we played a lot of Street Fighter. Poor fucker. Nice. I swear to God, I never landed a single critical hit until I fucking turned that shit off. So Not face. one critical hit. Okay, nice. Tell me I'm not imagining that voice. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They are coming. You are coming. I am. Hello. I'm what just trying to pick do? up the loot, asshole. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Thank you. How did he know? I also wonder how good real-time video game graphics have gotten this beyond what CGI was. Real-time video game graphics? Uh, well, I think with video games and movies, there's like a totally different like scale. Like it's hard to compare. Um, like just based on frame rate, you know, like movies are very different. Like aren't most movies at a frame rate of like less than 30 frames? What the fuck is that? There's a sword and a stone up there. So it's very, very different, obviously. What is this? Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Consider what the appropriate ritual ritual. I am a paladin. Okay. Do that. Movies at 24 except Peter Jackson's The Hobbit. Yeah, whenever you add the additional frames, it, it looks really weird on movies. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elastray. Blood can only be honored with blood. Uh. Let your embodied oath pour through you. Rip the sword, prove your worth. Okay. Best sword in the game. I've never seen this. This is all this is all completely new to me. It feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade. But with another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. It's the master sword! Valar Aluv. Okay, what is that? 5 to 14 damage, Melody. Uh, okay, what is Melody? The sword hums in anticipation, ready to sing or shriek. It says 5 to 14 damage. Doesn't seem like it's uh, great, right? It can do pommel strike. I think like, I don't know, does it, it's a really good sword. The buff and debuff is great. I'm not really sure what this means. T on sing and shriek. Oh, hang on. Sword sings a melody. All allies when a rage have a attack roll. Oh, wow. So that's like an additional bless. Ooh, and this would be thunder damage. Okay. I mean, we can try that. A rare is better than uncommon, is it not? I think rare is better. 
and Falar Aluv. Okay. Alrighty. We have lots and lots of weapons here. We don't need the helmets. Maybe I need more pockets. So is that uh where is that ability nest? We've got protection from poison. Oh, here it is. Uh, Melody. So is that... Uh, you only do that through a short rest. I can't determine what that's going to be. It's just going to be something random. It's either going to sing or shriek or something. Serion's still walking around with a kitchen knife from Walmart. Oh, when you click it. Oh, okay. Got you. So I can decide to either do a lightning damage. Is the lightning damage an AoE? I wonder. No, no. God, can we fucking kill this thing? I swear to God. I hate these things. Uh, can't have disadvantage? How am I disadvantaged? Throw a bomb in its mouth? Is it a fucking Dodongo? These things are such assholes. Time for a new I feel like they're not that hard. They're just they're just fucking irritating. Um Okay, let's go ahead and I should have blessed him sooner. Bless. Bless and bless. <laughs> Uh, I don't think anybody really needs a heal. So let's see, Shriek. All enemies within six meters of range. All allies within six meters of range. So I don't really have any allies nearby, so I feel like we don't do it. But uh, let's go ahead and let's... You know what, let's hit this fucker with the Divine Smite. Give me a crit. I want a crit too. Oh, I can just like do it again. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking do it again, bitch. Wow. I am like significantly stronger than I was before. Holy crap. Uh, Rage Fortress. Thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, Rage. You can do branding smite or searing smite. Give him the branding smite. Okay. Figured. Stay idle. Keep bonking him, I guess. Oh, we can now do pommel strikes. Pretty nice too, isn't it? Pretty nice one. A singular strike. GG. Fuck that thing. Uh, type alias. Smiley thank face. you for the twenty months. Thank you, type alias. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Blood Guzzler. When an enemy damages the wearer, the rare gains wrath for one turn. Un it's just clothing. <sighs> what does wrath mean? 
Plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. You think give that to a Sterion? Well, well, like theoretically that would be good for uh, Karlak, right? Because Karlak only wears clothing, right? Yeah, it's just clothing. Use the Sterion as rain so it's better for Karlak. I feel like it would work better for her, right? Plus one is not great. I mean, it all adds up, though. It's, it matters. I'll give it to Karlak. Asm Creeper. Okay. Uh, now where the fuck? Oh, I guess we're going to jump across here. Waste a step. Yeah, I think there's bonuses. I think maybe barbarians can wear light armor, but they 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 shouldn't wear like heavy or medium armor. I think. Get confused by one, blown up. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it it also wears off. Okay. Oh, this shit's like terrible, huh? Eesh. Now I'm going to find out that there's going to be like a badass enemy in here and I could have used all these explosives against him. <laughs> oh, a medium armor is fine. Yeah, I don't know. When I when I first played this game, uh, I obviously didn't like, I, you know, you guys know I didn't play it for too long. Uh, I was playing as a gnome barbarian and uh, I'm not really sure how much I like super understood about the game. Here, let's go and do our short rest. Um... I didn't really understand too much about the game. I understand a bit more now, a bit more. Uh, I wouldn't say I really like or dislike anybody yet. Honestly, I don't really have an opinion. Let's see, Wizard's Bane oil, oil of accuracy. Uh, daggers, blink, detect thoughts. Yeah, well, the thing about Gale is that it felt like it. I don't, I don't even think Gale is bad. It just felt like the enemy, every time I was in a fight, the enemy would run past my frontliners and hunt Gale down every time. And it was just very frustrating. So I was like, I'm not going to use this guy anymore. The enemy fucking knew, like, okay, we got to aim for Gale first. Okay, is, can I, uh, do I want to climb up here? I don't know if I've been here before. I think we just, it's just kind of a circle either way. Oh, I'm sure we'll try Gale again. Yeah, we'll do him again, for sure. Uh, Axel Foley, thank you for the three months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think anything is like, oh man, this class sucks. I don't I don't think that at all. I think if if a class is like weird to me, I just don't know how to use it. So um Okay, hopefully I can still get the backpack. Uh, there's a new Beverly Hills Cop coming soon on Netflix. There are definitely some really weak classes in comparison. Well, I, I don't know enough about the game to really, like, tell you which is good or bad. I will say that some things about Paladin, like this healing radiance move... Was that like a it was a trap huh you know that backpack was just a trap uh what the fuck are these okay i don't know what these guys are but they're definitely gonna fucking kill me huh <laughs> all right let's go ahead and heal up a little bit uh hey guys was swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices the harmony of an entire collective. 
Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Okay. So we still have my oath here. Tell the truth. I can tell the truth. Oath of the Ancients. I am nature's bulwark. Where good things grow, I lend my protection. Is this thing a good thing? Apparently we have more options. Let's tell the truth. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Whoa. Okay. Uh, well, they didn't murder me, so that's good. Uh, there are some dead Drugers and shit here, so... Could I go that way? Let me try going. I kind of want to go this way. Thank you. Uh, Michinator, thank you for the 44 months. Thank you very much. What level am I? I am just at level 5. I just got to level 5. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Something good here, I hope. Arrow of Ill, Ill Matter. The longbow, low cap, gold, okay. Time to fuck a mushroom. Poison spore. Okay. A fish. Releasing in theaters? What's releasing in theaters? Um, so, you can keep going that way. It looks like there's like there's possibly dwarves in this direction. Uh, but it also seems like they wanted me to follow them. So maybe I should follow them. I don't know. You ever crafted? I have crafted nothing in this game thus far. Ebon Lake Grotto. Ruger Spore Servant. I can't, uh, can't talk to him. Okay, can't talk to him. A Myconid Colony. Uh, I don't even know how to craft. Oh, hey, we found a, uh, we found a warp point here, huh? Merry fucking Christmas, Mark. Chat. The H key? Oh, okay. So I could make, uh, alchemist fire, potions, salts. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't crafted anything. Oh, hey, dude. Just shopping here? What's up, brother? Ah, a visitor. Are you? You're a welcome sight. Uh, Boston but Nate, thank you for the five the months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. The spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <sighs> or perhaps not. Mm. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Uh, I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number. Uh, Beatnik, thank you for the tier three, 38 months. Long. Smody, thank you for the 81 months. And I Thanks, are guys. working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. 
It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Uh, a mind flayer infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's oh, impossible, shit. but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? A mind flayer die. <laughs> uh, yes. How is that possible? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the grand design. So he's just like a chill ass I fucking ask mind flayer? from violence. While I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. What is the grand design? A collective quest to eliminate the gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for You want to see him B, sneeze? <laughs> would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Sure. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in So we kind of know about this, spaces. right? We kind of know about this because I think essentially what's happening is that the bearded lady in my dreams is holding the is preventing the tadpole from taking it over and she wants i guess we want the tadpole in us because it's making us stronger so what happens if the stasis goes away i can only theorize but i suspect your transformation would be both agonizing the bearded lady in my dreams instantaneous i thought it was always agonizing omelium well yes but that wasn't my point. Thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist So, like, we don't even know if we actually want to get it removed, right? But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances. I feel like so so the the so basically what the game is telling me is that if I find a way to stop the magic in me, I will I will become a a mind flayer, right? What kind of alchemy are we a talking about? Distilled from a collection of rare I wonder if you can become a mind flayer and play the game. You can just have all mind flayers in your party. Influence. That would be really funny. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. You know, it's not like a great idea. So lovely. So where do I find those? I think I already have what you're looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion. So I already Lost had everything. Own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. 
What exactly is it going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Ormeloan watches you with cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. What aren't you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel. I think it's you high as fuck. I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. All right, uh, I guess let's save and drink it. The potion is disgusting beyond description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find your. Did I, did, was that breaking my oath too? Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Draw on your willpower and resist. Sure. Whatever. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Who are you fucking? Oh, uh, roll again. Uh, so I guess I can cast resistance. I can cast. Oh, so I can do like one of these. All right, sure. Now try. Well, I'm sweet, Barb Laugh. Uh, Bender is bored. Thank you for 17 months. Dark Thank you very much. Bite at the edges of your vision. But the void cannot draw you in. The temple spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Uh, focus on a tune. <laughs> sure. Uh-oh. Not working. What the hell is this even going to be? Like, what's going to happen here? Roll again. You know what? Bless me. <laughs> Jeez. Rit. <laughs> All right. Well, we're running out of rolls here. Try again. There we go. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalled. Feel that tomorrow. Thank you for 46 months. Thank you very much. Against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets. Thank you. Omeluum, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have Sup, ever observed. Sup, Hope you have happy holidays with the babies. It's well, all, thank you for the 56 months. Feel that tomorrow. Scissorgy, thank you for the subs. Appreciate that. I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. Thank you. Tadpole still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although I may have another solution. Finally beat GPW3 Skeleton Bowser. One. Took 18 hours, but it was so I much fun. This. Thank you. A ring of mind shielding. Lubzy, thank you for the it five months. Thank you, dude. Hey, congratulations, man. My presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive 
and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Mm. I have gold. Will that suit? My research is in perpetual need of funding. Yes, I am willing to accept your coin. Okay. So... This is the ring here. The ring of mind shielding. You have advantage on saving throws against charm. Is that the ring he's talking about? Or is this it? Uh... You restore an additional two hit points every time you heal another creature. That's pretty nice, man. All these, all this stuff is good. So he's like a shop now. Um, I have a lot of crap I could sell you. Hang on. Forget you, uh, you balance the offer, but you, ha you have to hit the scales before you do this, right? Let me sell all these rings and crap I have, right? And a lot of gold. I have plenty of gold, yeah. I gotta clear this stuff out of my inventory anyway. Change to trade at the top. Shift click works. You can change the trade to the top and just sell. So, uh, so if I go here... Oh, now I can just double click and sell. Okay, I see. at you all right well we're gonna take a minute here absolutes warboard would this be good for uh should i use this for somebody should i give that to uh here we can sell this i give that to uh what's her name some of that offers gold makes money you have to have the mark. Does it? Does it? Is it terrible if you don't have the mark? Did you get the brand in the goblin camp? I didn't get branded. No. Ah, uh, it's, it's useless then. Okay, got you. Well, I guess I can sell this too. Uh, Crisia Moreno, thank you. Crisia Moreno, thank you for the resub. Thank you for eight months. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you, dude. I could probably sell many of these po these scrolls too. Like I haven't used a single one of these, right? Probably sell those too. Um, ring, tarnished locket. Protection from evil and good. I don't know. I, I, I look at this stuff. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Uh, let's see. All right. So what are we selling here? I really like this ring. I feel like this ring would be good for healing. It would make somebody like a better healer. So I like that. Let's go. I kind of want to buy that one. We could give that to what's her fuck. Or I guess, uh, theoretically, um, T to expand is your friend T to expand. <laughs> See, I'm curious about this item though. Here, I'm going to buy this because either way, I think this would be good. Let's go buy that. I feel like I don't really care too much about that. Uh, pearlescent restoration. What is this? You can replenish ex expended spell slots of your choice. Um, okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good, actually. I don't really care about the ring he's got. If you wish to acquire the ring later, you need only ask. Baldur Gator 3 is a lot easier if you play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I can see that. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Uh, do you have any interest in the trade? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Is Gale the new Bode? All right, let's see. What do we got here? And see in the dark. Uh, when the wearer gains lightning charges, just gain three temporary hit points. Ooh. 
this would be wouldn't this be really good on my uh with the lightning bow combine that with the lightning bow i have the lightning bow every time you attack it it, it does that scorching ray merry christmas dude the baneful This allows you to cast magic missiles. Interesting. Monka S, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Um, sure, are these... I actually could use these for camp supplies. Uh... Extra magic missile pendant for Gale is so good. Yeah, I was thinking about buying that. I haven't used Gale in a while. I have plenty of money. I have plenty. I have, well, look at how much money I fucking have. Um, does this guy buy anything that the other guy didn't buy? Okay, so I guess we're good now. Oh, hang on. Um, so I guess we're good. I guess we're good. Oh, uh, do I have... Hang on. Sell the bloodstone. I guess it doesn't do anything, huh? Let's get sell those. Uh, and the bronze ingot. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm even carrying that. It'll help with weight. Very well. I have mushrooms to Sell your log. shit. All right. Thanks, guys. How is your more Personal research progressing. We gained 20 EXP. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts. Three shovels. Hey, listen, some of us play Darkest Dungeon, okay? I need three shovels. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. All right. So, somewhere in here, there's like a... Is there like a head? There's like a chief intelligence or something? Oh, hang on. Let's see. So, I have this ring now. Sort by latest. Where's this ring at? So, I feel like this would be pretty good on Shadow Heart. So, whenever she heals, she'll do an additional two healing. Now, the only thing I'd question here is... Should I put this on Gabnon for his big group heal because wouldn't that give everybody an additional two hp because that would be really strong right that, that's my only question here i don't know i don't know if it, i don't know if it works that way though shovels can only be used once they're trash now that might be nice to give uh this would allow Shadowheart to cast magic missiles, which would be pretty good. More about frequency of use. I do feel like I do heal way more often with Shadowheart because I'm usually attacking with Gabnon, so. Hey, what's up, dude? Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Mm, can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. Can we see a dead dwarf? Uh, haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. I did kill the hag, yeah. I whooped her fucking ass. I whooped her ass recently. Show me your wares. Whooped her ass. Hmm, do I want anything? You know, light crossbow. When you miss an attack, you deal three bludgeoning. I like that when you miss, you still get that. You know, I think Shadowheart might be might use another weapon. Shadowheart might be able to use one. Heavy crossbow plus one. 
Let's see. Do we have anything for camp supplies here, by the way? I kind of need... I feel like I need camp supplies. Um, holy water. And they don't really give you a lot of camp supplies in this game, do they? <laughs> like I kind of need those now. Gloves of Hail of Thorns. Uh, if the wearer heals a poison creature, it is no longer poisoned. Oh, wow. So this is like some kind of fucking crazy healing thing? A mass healing word? I'll have that. Uh, that amulet is incredible. That uh, this amulet is once per long rest, but each still is great. I feel like this would be really good for uh, Shadow Heart, right? I'm buying it. Your weapon attacks also deal. T I, I kind of want to buy everything here. <laughs> weapon attacks deal two acid damage. I'll buy that. Uh, I can't, I, I think paladins only wear medium armor. They can't wear heavy armor, right? Who the hell can wear heavy armor? Hide armor. Oh, I can. Plus one bonus to strength, disadvantage on stealth. Heavy is what I should wear. Paladins can, they can do heavy. Okay, that's what I thought, right? Uh, I don't really know how good this is. It is, it is a uh, ring mail. I feel like my armor right now is really good though. I do feel like my armor is really good. Um, let's see. AC 16 though. I mean, I don't really even understand what armor class even really means. I guess it just means you take less, you take less damage or something. Uh, John Doe, full auto. Thank you for the resubs. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Means you're harder to hit. Oh, okay. I mean, would that... So if I bought this, would that change my, my armor class or something? Plus one. So this one would be 17 armor class. So that would really raise my armor class, right? Thack zero? I don't fucking know. This would really, this would really raise it up. They would need to roll a 17 on attack to hit. Oh, well, is that what that means? Well, that would be really strong. That would be really strong. Just slightly sucky stealth. I mean, my dude never fucking does stealth anyway. Uh, the only thing is the radiant shockwave. What does the radiating orb really do? Um, tempted by that. How much is this thing? 775. Uh, what kind of weapon does Shadowheart have right now? Can I... Hang on. It's about finding him? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Who is he to you? My useless husband. <laughs> Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. All right. Uh, what is Shadow Heart wielding? Oh, she's wielding the, the fairy fire thing, which is not great. I wonder if, uh, Gale... Do I have this on Gale? The that da we really need... Gale needs a better weapon, for sure. That does 4 to 9 damage, as opposed to 4 to 7. Can Gale give her the flail? Oh, I'm sorry. Asterion. I'm sorry. Asterion. I think this could be pretty good. You want finesse on Asterion? I don't know. Would this be good on Asterion? Speedy reply?
Hunting short bow. Oh, is he not proficient with it? Oh. Well, I don't think Asterion is going to be proficient. I need like a new dagger or something for him. I need like a new dagger or something. I think he needs... Does he actually need two weapons? I mean, I can give him fucking two daggers like that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I, I understand what you're saying there. Um... So if I go here, I was tempted to buy the flail for Shadowheart. Um, okay, this is the Amulet of Restoration. That would be good for her. So now she's got this healing thing. Um, I don't really know how useful magic missile is going to be on anybody else. I, I am very bow, yeah. I am very bow on uh, on Asterion. That's the way things have been so far. I think I'm gonna buy that flail too. Worth talking to, perhaps. Seems the shrooms are. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Show me your wares. Balance his name. Longbow plus one. So this would do a little bit more damage, yeah. And we also have tenacity that and as opposed to Zyandi, Zian, Zionide. Let's go ahead and buy this. Okay. okay. Let's go ahead and equip that here for you. I'm sure she's a proficient with this, right? I'm sure she is. It has three special attacks. Yeah, uh, what does it have? So it has Corrosive Strike, which is cool. That's neat. Weakening Strike and Concussive Smash. That's all cool. Alright. No Alrighty. Right. What path lies before me? Should I have had um Should I have had dual weapons equipped on Asterion this whole time, like double daggers? I have something to ask. Seek me. Seek the sovereign. I was only showing how to see proficiencies yet. So like, basically he's like, stop talking to everybody and come find me. <laughs> save, all right, we'll save. He's hard to find, you got lost for a hot minute. Uh, Yeah, I think I just went the wrong way actually. And I go this way and jump down or something. Ah, here we go. Medium armor uh, feet for shield is also very good. Yeah, I don't know where the mushroom leader is. I'm looking for him. Uh, I think this is kind of like leaving mushroom, mushroom town though, right? Hang on. Oh no, this is no, this can't be where we entered because this is the map, right? Can I like activate the quest or something? Find the mushroom picker. Uh, no, I don't know. The mushroom kingdom. Uh, yeah, I don't know where this guy is. Oh, hang on. Something over there. Guardian Gate. There's something behind there. Restless, noxious, mossy. Uh, oh, is this where we're going? Hang on. Did I hear Mushroom Kingdom? Oh man, I am fucking hungry, dude. Holy crap. Ever since I had, ever since babies, I feel like I don't just get hungry, I get fucking ravenous these days. Uh, that is a lot of dead bodies here. Mykonid denounces your theft. It means to punish you.
Uh, yeah, add all. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it was an accident. The myconid comes. You may go. Sorry, I was, I didn't know. Okay, here we go. Sovereign. Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. Her violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many. I never found this. I just killed everyone in the place. Lakewood. Wow, you asshole. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. Thank you. Guy invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy. All hail, King of the Bimpias. Dwergar invaders, huh? I'd like to hear their side of the story first. Uh, Bucky Laster, right. thank you for the 33 months. Thank you very much. Oath of the Ancients. I will cleanse the rot. So this is a good thing then. Thank you. A dwerger choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. Cypher, thank you for the 44 months. Thank you very much. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Oh, is that the gate we found downstairs? Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot. Ah. And they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Uh, thank you, Cypher, for 44 months. Appreciate it, dude. What magic is this? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. Uh, how might I gain this knowledge? You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. The Druger attacked you in those visions. Why? Deep purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by Dwergar. The Dwergar seek a gnome. It is a guest. You harbor a fugitive gnome? The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Okay. So, like, what? Like... He doesn't want to tell me anything about the gnome or something. <laughs> tell me, tell me about the gnome, bitch. Oh man, so he's like reviving these guys and turning them into more enemies. That's pretty funny. Or like more guys, I guess. All right, fair enough. The gnome is right next to me. Oh, this guy. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Oh, we. No, that's him. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Don't. What's wrong with you? Dwega. Uh, slashed me. Uh, poison. Mm. How did you end up here? My canids. Oh, oh took pity on me. Sound lads. Especially since the Grace gave them hell for it. Paragons of hospitality, these Myconids. The druids in the grove could have learned a thing or two. Consider what you know of Dr uh, Dwager poison lore, okay? Uh, not a lot, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. But apparently it's enough. Like 
dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Me doctor. Uh, give her an antitoxin. Uh, how could I pass by? You were in pain. No arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick sharp too. I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh, <clears throat> it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Is Gab not a dwarf or a dwerger? Ah, I'm a dwarf. Uh, tell, take it easy and tell me what I can do. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Uh, what are they digging for? Some dusty temple. It doesn't matter. They'll work my clan to death before they ever get near it. Uh, I'll free your people if I can. I only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the Hello, Greys George. when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some dwerger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Free labor. Not much choice, eh? Okay. So what did we just get? Boots of speed. Click heels. Uh, what does click heels do? Gain speed and freedom of movement. So that just means, like, is that, like, on a given turn? Like, I can just move faster or something? I guess I can give those to Asterion. Um, is that, like, that's a free, that's, like, a free thing. No limit on how many times. You can just, do, you can just, is it, like, a free thing and you can just have a bonus action dash or something? Oh, okay, cool. Neat. Um... You know, I should really do the three lightning charges. Don't I have an item that has something to do with lightning charges anyway? Don't I have something that does that? Oh, we haven't equipped this. Let's go give the... Whenever your weapon attacks also deal two acid damage. Let's go put that, I think, on Asterion, I think. Uh, can that be a bow? Can that be a bow that does that? He already gets a bonus dash. That can also be a bow and arrow. Any attacks? Okay. Um, is there anything else I want to do here? Uh, Dangle Zone. Thank you for the 62 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's go down Carlax. So she's got the... Uh... I feel like that could be good on Carlac. Yeah. That's Carlac. Uh, thank you, Dangle Zone. Appreciate that, dude. Uh, on attack is two daggers. Good. Oh, yeah, that would be true, right? It would deal double acid. So that would be two more acid on that, I guess. That would be true. Did I have another, like, bow and arrow or something I was going to give somebody? But I did, I guess not. Carlac is such a beast. Uh, she's been okay. I feel like so far for me, Gabnon Smite stuff has been really strong. And Asterion Sneak Attacks have been really strong. Especially with the guaranteed crits. Like, those have been really helped me out on this playthrough. The Robot Shock Halberd. So I have that, but apparently it can stun me anytime. So, um, 
I haven't been using that much. Like, apparently that can, like, fuck me over. Now, if I had a way to resist it or something, maybe? That's the mountain pass, and that's the mushroom picker. And that's kill the Dwergar by the lake and free the gnomes. So I kind of want to go southwest, it seems. Southwest, so like roughly that way. Um, now, how do I get southwest? Oh, I guess we're just going this way. I have an immunity ring to what? Shock? Well, that's an that's a uh, I can't be electrocuted, but where's the weapon at? See, it's not that this weapon electrocutes, it's Fresh walker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Where'd this guy come from? Tell me. Bring to mind your oath, a verdant glade safe from harm. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. He's moist. Where God destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. I have not broken my oath. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. You did, you save scum. You know what I call save scum? I call save scum exactly the fucking way all you bitches played this game and don't even try to lie to me. Look, I never reverted a save to, 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 to chain something I did. Don't even fucking try to tell me you didn't goddamn do that. Let us go together. The rot must be cleansed. In the so this guy is kind of like uh, the druid. Is he going to come along and help me out? Oh, shit. So big chungus mushroom guy. Hey, can this guy uh can this guy join my permanent party? <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. <laughs> you can change dead people. Can't slow down. Chungus fungus. We got mushroom man. Essentially he's toad. He's coming with us. Um So we're going somewhere. He, you know, he looks like the Krogan, right? Looks like the Krogan. Don't compare him to Toad. You hear the glass? That's your ass. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Krogan Toad. Yeah, Rex. That's it, Rex. So who even knows where we're going? Toad is better than this shithead. Uh, Androne, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know where we are. Keep going. <laughs> uh, thank you, Androne. Pile of bones. Another dagger. I think we need more daggers. What the fuck is that? A hook horror. Multiple hook horrors. Uh oh. Wait, is this thing, uh, okay, this thing is in combat with us. There's also a, uh, Philro the Forgotten. Hypnotized? 
So he's concentrating on hypnosis. What does hypnotize do? Can't move or take actions. Okay. So maybe we should try to break his concentration here. Okay, he fucking missed that. And I don't have enough actions to help him. What if I went up here and fucking vampire bite him? Would that break, would that break his concentration? God damn you. <laughs> it was worth a shot. I don't have enough movement to do all this stuff. I was going to try to push him off. I suppose we're just going to shoot him. I could try throwing something at him too. Okay. Okay, so we broke his concentration. That's good. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. So I now I have all this additional stuff with her. I suppose let's go ahead and uh, bless. Oh, apparently we're out of sight. And, you know, it might be good for everybody to just get up these vines. Let's just get everybody up these vines. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Uh, can you shove him down? Can't reach destination. Can you attack him? Okay, let's take uh, her. Let's bless, bless. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I don't. I don't have any level one spots. Oh, that sucks. Come on, bless yourself. You can't bless yourself. There we go. I also have this mass healing. It heals all. I guess that heals all nearby allies. Our, oh, he's got. I just saw he's got feather fall on. So what does feather fall do? It grants immunity to fall damage. So then pushing him off is not going to be great then. So let's. Let's go ahead and just attack him then. Uh, I guess we can also activate the rage bear too. Why not? Uh, bless gives us an advantage to all of our rolls. Let's see. It's a, is it a dice of a plus four for all attacking and saving throws? I think it makes a, uh, Basically makes all of my stuff better. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Okay, so we don't know what this guy does. And use hide here. Yeah, bless seems very good. So, like, every time you roll, you have an additional... Can't afford to let up. Take your heel. So Asterion got the additional heal there, which is nice. Uh, Odizi, thank you for the 60 months. Five years. I'm tenured. 
Uh, what are the odds we could shove this thing off? Too heavy to shove. Apparently, we can't shove this thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Do I have a brace? I do. Decided to buy this game. It looks so fun. My ISP are throttling my download speed. Ah, bummer. This game is really fun. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with this game, and there's so much to admire about this game, for sure. Okay, we use Lacerate. When an en when enemy is off balance... Okay, so that's pretty good. There's a, there's a lot to like about this game. Maybe we should try to do the rush attack. Okay, so we knocked it off balance. So if I move away, I'm going to... Let's go ahead. Uh, can I do a sneak attack? I actually could do a sneak attack here. Oh, so it's now it's now it's not off balance anymore. And now I can do the offhand attack. Nice. We we'll use disengage and try to get away from him here because we don't want to stare on there. Um. Let's go ahead and do uh. Let's do the corrosive strike on this guy. Let's try that out. Why not? That was my pool of acid thing. I see. I know why that happened. Wait, what is this? What is this survival instinct? Where did this come from? The hell is that? Three to 12 healing. I can heal myself. It's my gear. What's my, what's my gear that's doing that? Is that a brain worm? When the hell did I get that? When the hell did I get that shit? Beast mode? I don't know when I got that. So is that like a permanent thing I have now? Is that it? I have that permanently? That's pretty rad. Damn you. He's still too heavy to shove. Fucking divine smite his ass. And now pommel strike. We're just gonna stay hidden with this guy down here. Let's go down there and heal Karlak with uh, Shadow Heart. Nice. I'm pretty sure Asterion can fucking finish this bitch off.
There we go. Okay, so he's going to hide, and hopefully we can uh, shoot these guys from up here. Bye forever, pal. Uh, let's see. We already used Lacerate. We, we, I, do we have to take a rest before we can do that? Let's just go ahead and attack. And attack again. Nice. Ooh, I could have... You know what I can do? I can do. I can go down there and use the song ability. The Alluve melody, whatever. This game is great. Not right now. I can't, though. I could do Wrathful Smite or Divine Smite. All right, hit him with the Divine Smite. Nice. All right, now we can use fucking Mushroom Boy here. What do we have here? Animating spores, we spores, and of course, animated spore servant under your command. Interesting. Fist. <laughs> or multi attack. So, fist is the attack. Uh, okay, so, oh, the target must be prone if you want to do that. Oh, I see. All right, we'll give him the fist. All right, great. Good stuff. Glad you're here with us, buddy. Hey, at least he's taking hits for us. Why do I feel like Sovereign Glack is gonna fucking die? Sovereign Glut? I feel like he's gonna fucking die. So if I do uh, Shriek, I can do uh, one to four thunder damage. If I do this, we'll have attack rolls and stuff. Let's try it. Okay, so unfortunately that was uh, now I can't attack, which that sucks. Ola Barb and friends. I'm just gonna keep you up here. Uh Alfirion, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. I can do a level three. That might be overkill here. Let's try a level three on this guy. Okay, nice. Uh, I think we're okay heal-wise. I mean, we're going to have to take a rest here anyway soon. Uh, we can go ahead and heal Karlak one more time. Okay, we're going to kill you. And attack you. And uh, fist you. Oh, I probably could. Uh, I probably could do the animating spores on this guy, right? Ow. Yeah, yeah, I could res that guy. I think we're almost done with this fight anyway. I think if I attack here, uh, am I going to cause the thing? Okay, I guess it's fine. Okay, GG. Uh, actual hot hands in the dice game. Oh, she's still bleeding. That should be fine. All right, GG. Uh, combine three of these to create a supplement. I don't know what that means. That was a pretty easy fight. It seems kind of like a game that uh, becomes easier the farther you go because you gain like more options and stuff with your gear. Um, 
Scribbled notes. Okay. Right, I mean, like, in the beginning, and I'll, I'll compare it to Knights of Republic. In the beginning of Knights of Republic, the game is fucking so difficult. Uh, because, like, you're missing every fucking strike. You know, it's so fucking annoying. But could I actually animating spores? I could res you. Silence. So now, wow, so now this fucking hook horror thing is coming with me. A lot of Dungeons and Dragons campaigns start at level three or five because the low levels are tedious. Have they ever like, is, isn't there like a new move? Isn't there like a new rule set for Dungeons and Dragons or something? Uh, what's up Medieval Berserk? How do you like it so far? Are you save scumming? Uh, I, a chat, would you describe me as save scumming on this playthrough? Would you say I've been save scumming? What do you think? I don't think I have, but I'll let chat. We all do. I think like I only really revert to save when something like, not when a fight goes bad. It's like when like I make a mistake that's like, it fucks something up, you know? And if that bothers you, then so be it. But like I don't, in combat, I try to make the best of whatever. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I choose the wrong dialogue and like I didn't mean to do that, so. I've been trying to keep with my oath what I've been trying to do. Magma, 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 magma. Okay, cool. Very helpful. Most people play that way. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to scum every single dice roll. Like, that would be shitty. Can I resurrect more things? Uh, apparently, yes. All right. I wonder if that would... Um, get rid of my other summon or can i just have endless summons oh yeah okay that that, that makes sense 5.0 is news versus dungeon dragons 4.0 is not very widely adapted so a lot of people have been playing 3.0 and 3.5 for a very long time hmm. see a warp point uh yes i beat cocoon yes i did they're adding a new difficulty that uh safe scumming is really is re-rolling most dice roll that feels lame i wouldn't do that that'd be lame but i mean if i fucking die then you know i mean i guess i have to re-roll right <laughs> the game doesn't really let you game over okay so pathfinder is very cool Playing uh, the same 3.5 campaign for 20 years. I don't understand when people say I've been playing the same character or something for that much for that much time. I don't understand what that means. Okay, so I don't know where the enemy even is. Oh, he's above us. Oh. Uh, that hurt. Need to learn the hard way. Man, Carlike is doing some fucking actual damage now. Um. Critical hit. 43! Good God, man. Holy shit. Can't give up. Not now. Oh, we have this, like, big heal. Let's go do that. Why not?
Fuck you. Uh, tempted to hey, heal. Thank you for the gift sub. Uh, Hope Dr. the Cox, kiddos are doing the well. Resub. Thank you very much. Thanks for the content. Oh, thank you for the gift sub. Fresh Prince Larry, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Uh, I did not mean to press that, but okay. That's fine. So with the hook horror, we can do hook, pounce, multi-attack. This should finish it off. Come on, man. God damn it. Somebody fucking hit him, please. Still breathing. There we go. Jeez, man. Uh, Dr. Cox, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, so we have plenty of camp supplies. I suppose we can also camp. I think I used all my spell slots and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take a long rest. Press time. I like how we have the hook horror is just gonna hang out with us. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Can I bring it? Oh, wait, Gale is dying. Hang on, he's hungry. So talk to Gale. Uh, thank you, Dr. Cox, for spending a lease for the resub. I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. I haven't even used this bitch in a while. Uh, I think I'll have a mag I have a magical artifact to be interested in. Most gratifying to hear. May I? Uh, give him a magical artifact. All right, what do we give him here? Can you, uh, multiple bless? Can you do that? Wait, is this, uh, okay, so apparently he can take the drow hood. I might just give him that. Dancing lights. I don't really feel like that's too useful. Blesses him. I was wondering if you could bless, like, one character blesses and then another character blesses and then it, like, stacks or something. Lock it is the best bet. What, this one or this one? I mean, Dancing Lights to me is not that great. Let's give him that one. Thank you. Oh, so Bless does not stack. Okay. I thought the hood could be good for Asterion. Yeah, I think Asterion has something else on that's good for his head. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of... Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. I haven't used Will Another even once yet. What class is Will? Is he a fighter? Somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite. Uh... Oh, he's a warlock. No, I've never used him actually. What's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to hmm. a glade of calm and think. Where's are the most grotesque characters? I think my character looks pretty good. Thank what are you, you talking about? For the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Okay. Weird. I hate Warlock. Maybe I'm just wrong. Fucking two spell slots. Oh, is that all they get? Barb's character looks like me. He's the most beautiful Barb character ever. Yeah, I feel like my character looks decent. Well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Moving in. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Shadowheart. Let's go holla. Gabnom. Fiona looks pretty okay. Let me holla at Shadowheart. I was hoping you'd come to chat. 
What do you need? Um. Let's see. Uh, I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? Uh, hang on. Very serious of you. But go ahead. How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a dark justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side after all. Okay. So she really likes me, I guess. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, I guess let's rest up. See what this does. And auto select, full rest. All righty. Uh, is it a little hard to sleep with the giant mushroom man walking right, right over you? <laughs> is it a little hard to sleep like that? All right, leave camp. The character I made in Demon Souls pretty good. Oh, I don't remember at all. Wait, why didn't uh, why didn't Sovereign Shithead heal? Why didn't he heal? Can I throw a potion at him? Throw. Hang on, can I throw a potion at him? Now, let me let me just in case it pisses him off for some reason. Let's save. <laughs> There you go, heal. <laughs> just throw it at their feet, not directly. It's God, I want to heal you. Just got to throw a beer bottle at his face. Take your medicine. What the fuck is this mushroom man? So he's like, I guess the sovereigns are like the lead mushroom fuckers. And so this guy, he does not have his own mushroom clan. So he's like on his own. So he's coming with us to help us because he hates, he also hates the Dwegar, I guess. So he's a mushroom fucker. I don't know. Yeah, he's a free agent. Um, look at the uh, map here. Okay, so we're, we're going the wrong way for the Dwegar. We have to go the uh, we have to go southeast from here. I'm just more brave. You looked at the reactions page for your characters. A lot of abilities you can get uh, up to trigger automatically by hitting L. Uh, I have never seen this. <laughs> nope, I have never seen that. I don't think I really need it though. But no, I've never seen that. Uh, Neo Dramon, thank you for the 33 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Never seen that. Well, if you can do a reaction, if you do something, it tells you. It's not like the game doesn't tell you, right? It's kind of setting up a thing you can do, right? I think you're right. I think, I think I'm right. Okay, we're going the right way, I think. Uh, I highly recommend you turn on ask for opportunity attacks. Uh, nothing like opportunity attacking a weak enemy, only for you to ignore an ogre or something. What's inside? Okay, this is where we found this shit earlier. So I guess we're going downhill. So now we're going to find out that the Dwegar are also like sympathetic because they want to do something like this. I, I don't believe they're just straight up cartoonishly evil, right? So now we're going to find out like the Dwegar actually are here for something important too. Because that's how these, that's how these games work. An executed deep gnome. Whoa, what the fuck? Damn. This does more damage than my fucking sword. It's a, I think it's a one-handed sword though. A short sword. The short sword does more damage than my big chungus weapon. 
Okay. Uh, can't, I can't believe that was just lying here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a one-handed weapon. Uh, let's see. Wow. Damn. Now, nah, dude, Asterion's fucking crazy, dude. Holy shit. That's wild. Does more if you meet the uh, the conditions. What are the conditions for it? Seems really strong. Seems really strong. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. I'm surprised that like a, such a crazy strong weapon is just lying here. Breathe deep. I remember this game. Someone who has never played a turn-based strategy game before. Um. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a lot of learning involved, but uh, I feel like this game, if uh, I, I haven't played it on normal difficulty. I've only played it on the hard mode. Sometimes the hard mode is, is rough. I think the only thing I would say to you is that sometimes in this game, if you, you're going to run into something that's way too high level for you and you just have to don't like bash your brains out. Besides that, like read everything. Like it's pretty, like you can understand everything in the game. Thank you. Just like be patient with it. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us. Uh hold up your palms in peace. You got a bloody rot flower for company? Must have let it get in your head. My axe will fix that in no time. Oh, okay, well apparently uh we're not talking. Okay, this is a level seven Gek Coal. So apparently there's a level seven guy somewhere. Holy shit. Uh, Eric Demand, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Apparently these guys, I thought like this fight was tough for you. Apparently these guys are just fucking straight up evil. Apparently they are. Okay, so there is the level seven guy right there. There he is. Uh, maybe I should save. Uh, so that was a counter spell and I was not allowed to do that, apparently. Huh. Weird. I've never seen a counter spell before. Here, I'm going to Missy step over to this guy. And I'm going to attack. Attack. Okay. It's great when you're the one casting it. Looks like a uh, sovereign glut is going. Oh, wait, no, this is this thing. Um, uh can I not reach the destination because Gabnon's in the way? Is that it? just jump over then run uh so i guess we want to i was kind of just trying to throw this guy in the way okay
So everything is too far. Oh, can I actually reach this thing? Okay. Okay, miss. Good. <laughs> uh What just happened? <laughs> Oh my god, Sovereign Glut is dead! <laughs> what the fuck? Well, say goodbye to that guy. Man, that guy's still alive, too. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I, it's hard to even see this guy. All right, there we go. Attack, Hulvik. What? I don't even know what that was. Wow, we rolled a critical miss. Well, I guess let's go ahead and roll a reckless attack. Now. Okay. He's dead. Music in the music in this game is underrated. High defense. So he's casting silence here. I can probably jump over and attack him. I do feel like the level seven guy is going to demand all of my attention here. Um, so I kind of feel like I should maybe stay over here. This game is highly rated. I could jump over, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Let's just go here. And I suppose we'll crouch. Okay, I don't know where all these animated corpses are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just realized I left Carlac over there. Has disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. These reanimated corpses are all uh, level one. Hmm. So cool the way they all move at once. I don't have enough. Kind of want to go run at this guy. And Asterion's got some crazy attacking right now because we got that new stuff. Let's go attack him. And apparently that's all we get to do. I think actually the acid attack would be good here. We missed. Great. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. What are my top five games of this year? How many games did I play this year? Um, I can tell you, I definitely fucking absolutely loved. Um, so let's go do a rush attack at him. I can't wait to see you play Divinity of Sin 2. I Smiley loved face. Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4 was awesome. Fucking loved Resident Evil 4. Okay. 
The fuck did he just cast here? What is this? Uh, did you hear about the Baba's you guys doing Into the Breach style game with Baba? I did not hear about that, no. So I can't reach him. Yeah, I can't get over there. Uh, if I jump, will I be able to still attack? I can jump and still attack, right? So if I, I go... If I go here... Is there nowhere I can jump? Not enough movement, not enough movement. Jump is a bonus action. I can't, uh, seems like I can't make it over. Damn it, dude. Oh, I have, uh, target is too far. Yeah, really? That's how far I can fucking misty step. What a bunch of shit, man. Fuck me, huh? I like, I can't do it. Like, he, we're stuck in this fucking doorway. Oh, is it because I'm blinded too? Is that why? There's gotta be a way to cure blindness, right? There's gotta be a way to cure it. You can do moon beam. Call that a beam of light damage any creatures and enters the beam or uh, it's light. So I can fall down a moonbeam. I've never seen, that must be a new spell too. Look in the moonbeam. Yeah, I don't think I really have much I can do right now. I feel like I kind of didn't do so well on this turn. All right, and my turn, I guess, I, I can't do anything. Oh boy. Oh shit, he just got fucking wrecked. Oh my god, he's getting fucking wrecked. Oh, it came? Oh, awesome. My laptop got here. Thank you, baby. Exciting. Uh, laptop here, uh, that means uh, we're going to be in the future, we're going to be having cooking streams. This fucking reanimated corpse. We really need to kill this guy. So close to dead. Uh, bombs, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you, bombs. Hello, Bimp. My vacation starts now, Barb Comfy. Okay, we don't care. Let's get rid of this fucking guy. Go ahead. Go ahead, that's fine. We need to finish off this guy, the level seven guy. Nice. And I think we uh, we send you for a little tumble off the cliff, motherfucker. <laughs> See ya, bitch. Nice. Uh, Captain Peps, thank you for the 10 months. Bombs, thank you for 34 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Fly. Mm, 
Okay. And possibly finish you off. Right, fuck you, bitch. But you're still alive with one HP? All right, now we have to deal with a billion zombies here. Good Lord. Here, go ahead and do a big heal on yourself. That's your big heal on yourself. Wow. I wish, you know what I wish I had? I wish I had like AOE spells. Wow, that was my attack, huh? This guy is still alive down here. Um, okay, so I can't really do that. I can try to shoot you. I guess let's keep shooting you here. Give me a give me a critical hit. Sure. Wow, man, Asterion got so much stronger. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, he, it wasn't like he was weak before, but he got, like, so much stronger. It's crazy. a brace yeah let's go ahead and do brace and let's attack attack okay good that guy was probably the chief threat what scrolls do you have i have every scroll since the very beginning of the game <laughs> So these guys are undead, so Smite is going to be really strong. Last day of work stream watching. Okay, let's finish you off. And... Let's go do Smite. Ah, uh, wow. Ah, uh, did I just fucking piss this thing off? I just piss this thing off, I wonder. I'm wondering if I should heal. Let's go ahead and heal because the uh, Shadow Heart may need it. Got it. Um Take you heal yourself. And I guess I can heal myself Take again. Alright, so uh we got this undead guy is still here. Check all of Shadow Heart spells. Uh, they want you to shake your hand now. I mean, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure this fight is basically done. We're pretty much got this in the bag. Fuck yes. Okay, go finish off that guy. Nice. Let's 
They, um... I don't have enough movement for that, but I can shoot them from the doorway. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot them from the door. Excellent. Nice. And uh, can't afford anything else. I have a flourish. That's pretty much all I can do. Okay. Inspect the zombie to check their passive. Undead Fortitude. Oh, so it looks like these guys can actually come back to life after they die because of Undead Fortitude. I think most of the zombies are dying here, though. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and do another Thanks for Divine being awesome Smite. And showing us awesome games. Started Lies of P a couple days ago. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, hey, Kal-El, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you, Kal-El. Boy, they fucking hate Shadow Hearts so much. Congrats on the kiddos. God, cool they hate to Shadow see Hearts. BG3 back. Hope you've been enjoying it more as you've been learning the game bar. Cheers. Uh, I've been on well. vacation for a bit and made dark chocolate mocha cookies with a coffee infused white chocolate drizzle link. Uh, cool. Martakia, thank you for the 52 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kal -El. Are there any, like, spells? <laughs> Mirror image, fear, protection. Pray to turn all undead. That, what does that do? Turn undead. Oh, is that like a giant damage thing on on all of them? Is that what that shit is? It turns them around for a second. That seemed pretty good. So he's turned. What does turn mean? The affected enemy must move away from the creature that turned it. Okay, so apparently these what's happening is that these guys have to run away from Shadowheart, I guess. Because they're turned. Okay, interesting. God damn it. How did you miss that shit, brother? Now this is my happy place. Yes. Yeah, it's only right. It's only on undead, right? Okay, so that's why this guy just healed. Okay, let's get rid of you. Uh, Danger Tater, thank you for the 71 months. Thank you very much. Fascinating how such seemingly simple digits can hold such mathematical significance, isn't it? Sure. Now that got him. Oh, so he tried to run away, and that's caused a uh, reaction from Shadowheart, too. Okay, interesting. Bonk. Let's go do mass healing word, too. Wow. Shadowheart, man. It's like all of my characters are getting exponentially more useful as time goes on. Okay, so this shithead is still out here somewhere. I don't know where. Is he like around here? I don't know. Do, do I just blindly... Oh, there he is. Can you like blindly swing and find him? <laughs> is that like... Is that a thing you can do? I, I don't know. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, my way. Oh, is particularly humongous power. Well, the fact that you can attack twice, right? Uh, sure. Let's give him a guiding. Well, guiding bolt doesn't have great chance. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a sacred flame. That's not bad. For enemies having huge bonus to concentrating save throws. Uh, yeah, sometimes it feels that way. Oh, I can make it all the way here. Okay, GG. Easy peasy. Really, not, that fight really wasn't that bad. The, the Shadowheart getting completely swamped by zombies kind of sucked, but... Are you going to be streaming during the holidays? Do you take time off with your family? Um, so, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be this year. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but uh, usually I stream Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Like, usually I'll stream during that, for sure. Oh, I have... I think a lot of fights in this game can completely get out of your hand, for sure. Definitely. Light hammer, chain mail. Damn. Pretty good armor thing, right? Equal dead, scroll of aid. Okay. One day I'll catch a break. Also, two bonus action the Syrian can do two offhand stabs. They're all the reanimated. I don't think the reanimated corpses have much. But yeah, I usually I usually stream during the holidays, so I'm not like going away or anything like that. I'll be back. Uh, Sovereign Glut is super dead. Sorry, Sovereign Glut. Roaring Thunder, Dagger, Heavy Crossbow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but yeah, he, uh, he kind of took the, he took, he killed, he, he took all the damage from everybody else, I guess. Uh, Blingen Stone Blush. Wager Antidote. So, if you didn't roll the medicine skill there, you would need that antidote to save the gnome, right? Wow. 5 to 21? Damn. Plants, insects, or small creatures, executioner's axe. Uh, good damage, but uh, that's but that's a condition. The condition is they have to be one of those. So if they're not one of those, that wouldn't help me at all, though. That's a lie. Wait, so is it actually like five to fifteen? Is that actually what it is? Otherwise, you don't get that, right? So that's not that great. It'd be really good against plants, mushrooms, and all that stuff. I get you. I, I understand. That's kind of—it's a bit of a lie. I, I see. All right. Let's see what else we got. Georgie. Right. I get you. I get you. Some weapons are very situational. I mean, that's kind of cool that they still... I'm sure that they would still have their use, right? I'm sure that they would still have their use. Who's in DMing a Dungeons & Dragons campaign with Boo and friends now? Um, Upsource, correct me if I'm wrong. If you're, like, DMing a campaign, is that not, like, a shitload of work for the DM? Like, like let me do this gigantic job, and I have to, like, manage what everybody is doing and like create a campaign, like writing a book. Um, I feel like that could be interesting, but I'm not like, believe it or not, I don't like, I don't like constantly doing things for other people nonstop. <laughs> it sounds like it could be fun, honestly, but I don't like living my life for other people constantly. That sound crazy? That's I, I'm selfish, I know. Do 
You monster. For, right, for free. No, I feel like it could be fun. As, as, I think it would be especially fun for, like, your friends and stuff and, like, to really do that. But it does sound like a lot of work. I've also never done it before, so I would have no... I could have to learn from scratch. Um, so that would be very hard. So the answer is no. A super simple rule set. I could also like not do it. That's also a possibility. It's not hard. Right. I have no doubt, but like I, I you know, I don't know. I think people want me to do that because it's like, well, you made the grand pool world games, right? Why not just, just do more? I'm not really planning on doing that. I've never done it before. Well, I've done it at least once. Uh, and I have, uh, I have two, I have two beautiful girls to prove it. Very much. Um, one time champion. All it takes. The Baldur's Gate, except instead of the game doing work, the DM does it. Just play Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, it's cool to think, like, you're, you're growing into a campaign that your friend made, and you have, like, you know, like, what did they come up with? Like, what can you do, right? It also sounds like it'd be really frustrating, right? Because if you're DMing a campaign, and you, like, you craft something, and then they, like, fuck it over because they're assholes. They don't do what you want. So you have to, like, anticipate what people would do, right? Like, what, what would I try in this situation? They cheese it. You also probably have to make up shit on the fly, right? So, like, what if you, like... Okay, there's an orc, and the orc tries to is, is here to kill you. And they're like, well, I'm a bard, so I take off my clothes and I try to seduce the orc. And then you have to be like, uh, okay, I guess you have to roll a 20 for this to work. You know, like, you have to, like, come up with that shit on the fly, right? Yeah, and that would be, that would be right. That would be frustrating. See, I, I don't know. I would. This is something I would rather not do. Okay, something down here. You're already a great DM. It's fun. Well, yeah, with friends, I feel like it's one thing, but yeah, I'm good. Honestly, it kind of feels like you could make like a full-time job being a, being a DM, right? Like you just you just come up with cool. It's almost like being a writer. It's like being a it's like half writer, half video game creator, right? I have all kinds of these bonus arrows. Triple your jump distance. You have to debuff and adjust difficulty players based on what's happening. It's a lot to improve some players or some people are better than others oh yeah yeah for sure I, it would be a crazy skill uh yeah i'm not doing that anytime soon uh, all the stuff yes. i don't i hysteria i don't want to talk to you i'm trying to loot stuff asshole Yes, what do you want? Like, Stop talking to me. Bro, I thought when you played Among Us, folk were way too knowledgeable and ruined the fun. That's DMing in a nutshell. I can see that. That makes sense to me. It's because I made the Grand Pool World games. People are like, oh man, Barb would be a great DM. Oh man, Barb should totally do that. There's a, apparently there's a gold necklace here. Do the computer in the game. You always have a one guy that knows everything. I should replace Miyamoto when he retires. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure all the Nintendo fans will love that. Oh, could I have got here just by jumping down here too? Could I have got here? I guess we're going to go back. Now that we killed everything here, I guess we're going back to the town. Uh, mushroom town. Although, wait, the, 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 the gnome chick said free my people. 
So we have to go north and then west. Let's go there. And then over here. Okay, right there somewhere. Right, right. You get a chance to watch Blue-Eyed Samurai? No, Rudy, I haven't got a chance to watch that. Uh, we've been watching Alone right now. We're watching Alone. I also was watching Dune last night for, for like, no reason. I just put it on. So... Yeah, I really like Alone. It's really fun to watch people starve and cry. <laughs> I guess we got to use the boat. A vessel bubbles on the lake's uh, the new waters. dude. Sail into the darkness? Is it because, uh, it's because Katie's busy? That is. You mean Dunk? Yeah, we're watching, I was watching Dunk. Uh-oh. God's damn dwarf. What are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? Deception, intimidation, in the name of the absolute, you will let me pass. Gek is dead. He fell fighting the Myconids. Push the Dwerger into the water. <laughs> Wait, the Dwerger has a parasite? Huh. Ah, uh, shit. I can use elixir of this. Increase your strength to 21. All right, we won't use that stuff. Damn. <laughs> Damn it. We roll again. Let me roll again. Okay, this time we'll, we'll use the elixir. We'll use that too this time. Thank you. Have a drink. I got my one year batch. <laughs> Good thing I used the elixir. Level five, level five, level five, level five. A whole lot of level five bitches. What kind of fucking fight is this, huh? Um, so I'm not, it looks like I have to, if I want to fight them, I have to jump across. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. Perk. Bana. I think was the Jairus. I think the big, the guy I pushed off, he might've been the hardest one to kill. So. All right. Let's, uh, we're going to mark oh, this guy. And let's go ahead and shoot him. Nice. Yeah, we're not able to hide. Nice. Oh, is Karlak? I didn't realize Karlak was immune to fire damage. Wait a minute. If I hang on, if I go here and do this, shit, but that would have worked. I think <laughs> if, if she hadn't missed.
How did she get on fire anyway? Um. Fire arrow. Karlak is the best companion. She is in rough shape. Let's pull her back. Let's uh, heal her. All right, I'm going to go uh, put the shield on Gabnon here. I kind of want to like jump across and start wailing on bitches. We've got the spell of protection on us. Let's go do it. Level two divine smite. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, one down. The fuck is mind mastery? Forced to make a weapon attack against one of its allies ends after the attack or when hit. Okay, we could probably break his uh, concentration or something. Or maybe not. Oh, here we go. Yep. He's about right. <laughs> Wow. Am I understanding this game more? Uh, definitely, yes. Definitely understand the game more. Man, he tried to fucking shove my ass in the water. There we go. Uh, I suppose let's give him a guiding bolt. All right, let's uh, attack you. And attack you. Nice. Oh, is somebody fucking... Is he invisible? Uh... I'm ensnared? Wait, uh... Who ensnared me? And he's in, uh... I'm in rough shape here, actually. Mind mastery. Oh, it's this is the guy that ensnared me. Um, I have a 42% chance of hitting him. I guess let's try. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I can't move. That sucks. Oh, I thought he didn't make the jump. I was going to laugh. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, so he's no longer mind mastered. Happy 30 bar bar blouse. <laughs> that was sick. Uh, Gobs, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, Gobs. Appreciate that. Yay! Okay, Asterion is in terrible shape. Go heal him. 
Oh, really? Hey, you know what? Heal him again. That's why it's game of the year. Uh, X, thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. I hope I get a chance after the fight to, like, loot. Oh, I can't shove. Bummer. All right. Dude, fuck these guys. These guys are pieces of shit. Oh, my God. throw him too heavy to throw i was like can i throw this guy off the thing that'd be pretty funny <laughs> all right there we go uh you love this game tears kenny was your game of the year okay um helmets I guess I can take some of this stuff. Could always sell it. Uh, a war pick. Acid vial. Alchem I have so many alchemist fire. Grease bottle. Is this game a 10 out of 10 in the barb meter? I usually only, I usually will only really judge a game when I'm like done with it, when I've finished it. That's usually when I'll be like, all right, these are my thoughts. I'll say that I'm having a really good time with this game. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack here. Oh, that seems pretty good. An impulse blast. So when you kill, when you kill an enemy or do a critical hit, you'll knock all nearby foes prone. Is this a uh, one-handed or two-handed? One-handed, huh? Either. Oh, you can one-handed or two-handed. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. So my current weapon, I'm not sure how good my current weapon is for me. kind of like that so it's versatile in that you can wield it with either one-handed or two-handed okay i see and you get a little bit more damage rolls if you go two-handed i see so we're losing like a little potential damage but i don't know that could be worth it i do like pommel strike and the charging attack on this sword i'm, I'm not sure maybe we'll use the sword i'm not sure it does more damage to right right i get it we you lose a little bit more i get it uh, it's Hawkman. Thank you for the 43 month. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you guys. Um, I think the yeah, I think knocking somebody prone would be really strong though, right? It'd be real. That'd be really really good. And we also have a guaranteed critical attack too, so that sounds pretty goddamn good. We also have the Sword of Justice, which does 8 to 18 damage. Wow, this sword would also be really good, right? What is uh, Tears Protection? And this would also be really good. Do you regret making a Dwarf Paladin? I don't know, dude. Why, why would I regret it? I feel like I could totally just play. I feel like I could just totally play it again. I'd be like, oh, man, I regret it. This has been fun. Vanish on attacks and cuts movement speed. 
kind of almost feel like I should be using this Sword of Justice. It does a lot of damage. 8 to 18 damage. Like, if it's like 1 damage, like whatever, but this is so strong. I don't know. kind of feel like I should give him that. And, uh... If I look at this... I'm going to choose Shadowheart here. I don't know if this would be better than the corrosive flail or not. Oh, she's not per she's not proficient with it. Never mind. I thought she's permission with. Uh, I thought she could use hammers. I guess not. All right. Well, never mind. All right. Well, uh, maybe we'll swap that around at some point. I don't know. I feel like it's been fine. Like I've I really have no complaints. Can I uh, can I rest? Christmas. Would you say it's living up to the hype? Um. Craft is ready to sail. A uh, living up to the hype. What is this game living up to the hype? Hmm. I'm having a really good time with it, but I still feel like there's weight. There's there's too much to. Uh, I guess continue our journey. There's too much to unpack here. There's there's like so much. It's like, it's okay, like, if you, if you read a hundred page book, like, you can read a hundred pages and be like, okay, yeah, this was great. This is like a 2,000 page book and I'm like a hundred pages in. It's kind of hard to judge. Now, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm enjoying it. Just let me play. By the way, I will not be choosing a 2,000 page book for, uh, for uh, book club, will not be doing that. I'm enjoying it so far. It reminds me in some in some ways of like it reminds me a little bit of like Knights of Republic, you know. Women are ready, lass. Company's calling. Am I gonna have to fight my entire way through all this shit? What do we got here? Dead hoon walking seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? Another belligerent dwarf? <laughs> this is getting tiresome. I'm a true soul and you will treat me with respect. That's so. I... <sighs> you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. I'll be... You ain't shitting. <laughs> Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend Nair caused a rockfall, trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. A singular uh, strike! So, wait, can we, like, fight them? Now, how much bullshit we just fought? I kind of, I'm kind of tired of fighting. I'd rather cut my own throat. Shit. Would love to see that. Now I'll clog your dwarf hole. I'm just busting your nads. <laughs> but I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. Okay, There'll I saved 100 gold. Pay for the lot of you cult uh, buggers. Twister, thank you for the 49 months. Thank you, All Twister. All the charm and wit you'd expect from a slaver. Even a slaver of gnomes. Leave. All right. So... These, uh, Dwager here, we're here to save the gnomes that were, uh, enslaved. I, oh, no, no, don't do that. We're here to save the gnomes that were enslaved, I suppose. Let's try this way. Still breathing, despite everything. Very well. Instead of saving more than once in an hour, I will see you. Thank you for reminding me. I will save more often. I will save. Uh, all right. I'm going to get up and use the bathroom shed. I got to pee. Be back in one second, guys. BRB.
All right. I am back, guys. Thanks for waiting. Beach Mouse is so funny. OMG. Beach Mouse so funny. Make me laugh so hard. I am back. Thanks for waiting. All right. Uh, let's see. So, let's head up the hill. Uh, can we do, uh... How are we looking on... Sp I think we used all of Shadow Heart. We should really do a long rest. Let's go ahead and do a long rest. Oh, wow. Uh, how are the girls doing? Girls are good. Girls are good. I guess we're just going to rest up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why would it do that? Hang on. Why would it do that? Why? Okay. It's choosing like all of them. Oh. Weird. Wait, where are the other items going? Uh, okay. Strange. Oh, here we go. Okay, 80. There you go. Full rest. It's bugging out. Weird. The inventory is jank. It does seem a little jank. Yeah, it does seem a little jank. Arm against this mortal enemy, the UI. If you hit auto select twice, it will fix itself. Ah, interesting. Is he uh, near one of those flower things? Weird. Okay, let's go ahead and leave camp. This place is hard to bear. I hope we're able to continue on our way before too long. All right, so we found another uh, waypoint. Everyone is so unhappy. Well, well, I meant more than molten rock What's and funny like cavern, doing but in the underdog? yes, the folk leave something to be desired. Hey, there's a shop over here. So we got mods add to the quality of life of the game. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. I wonder what There's mods people normally run in this game. Parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. A friendly welcome, a rarity in the Underdark. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say. But I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. Giga titty mods. I, I you know what? I guarantee you I'll see that on Smoke Alert stream limits. someday. <laughs> and so I must humbly request yours. Guarantee it. Uh, what should I be looking at? The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see and be thorough. Examine the fallen rubble. Sure. Uh, oh, so guidance is a cantrip. That's really useful. Actually, I never, I never realized it was a cantrip. Wow. <laughs> I'm a bad dwarf, it turns out. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. What this pattern signifies, you can't fathom. What do you think? Uh, assess the statue for technique and composition. Let's try that. <laughs> the statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. You consider the differences, but they mean nothing to you. Anything standing out? Survey the area for unseen curiosities. Oh, there we go. Gabnon. <laughs> Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. 
The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. I'm ready to report my observations. Shelfer. Of course. The rocks have been altered by hellfire. Alas, you've left me with more questions than answers. My survey continues. I would like to trade. Let's see what you've got. Okay. Did you miss marbles? No, we have not done marbles. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy this uh, supply because it kind of feels like I need that. You know, I actually have an infernal alloy already. I don't know what to do with it, though. Uh, what else you got? Elixir of bear skin. A drum. Blue cap. Okay, so he really doesn't have too much. Um, probably is there anything I could sell? Sell those. Uh, makes makes it easier for the wearer to succeed against death death saving throws. Uh, let's go sell these boots. Hmm. Would this chainmail be better for Gabnon? No, I guess not, because we have the Radiant Shockwave thing. Oh, the helmet. Okay. Have a lot of daggers. I can probably sell some of the daggers. Okay. That's all then. Okey Did he start Karlax side, side quest? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just doing everything I feel like doing for the most part. Maybe I need more pockets. So, are you creating invisible beings or just losing your mind? <laughs> yeah, there's skeletons and corpses lying around here. Damage dark justiciar armor. Interesting. The weirdest thing I just take this shit? While obscured by shadow, the weird deals plus one to four necrotic damage to attackers that hit them with a melee attack. Interesting. As you look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Uh, whatever killed them made an enemy of a powerful goddess. Whatever killed a bunch of Sharans might still be down here. Just saying. Okay. Uh, damaged armor, scimitar, all this damaged armor shit. Apparently it's still worth, like, a decent amount. I have a bunch of stuff in my, uh, wares, too. Would this be better for Shadowheart, I wonder? I don't think we're really obscured, but we're not really obscured by shadow, though. Loot the bodies. There's really, like, there's no difference, but she's she's never obscured in shadow, though, right? Still better. I mean, well, I don't understand why is this better. It has the same armor class, right? You could be, so it's better. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Obscured in shadow means you're just, like, standing in shadow, right? Is that it? That's what that's actually what that means. Oh, okay. Well, then it, that is pretty good then. That that yeah, that's okay. Got you. We like almost constantly in shadow anyway here, right? I'm not procrastinating. I'm only doing side quests. Thanks for such great games and funny streams. Hey, uh, Mano Capybara, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. I kind of feel like you can't help. You can't help but, uh... Light on my feet. But do side stuff in this game. Like, you kind of have to. Intimidation plus one. Interesting. You kind of have to, right? The one I was going to give to Gale... Yeah, I could probably give some of this stuff to Gale, right? 
Um, do you really have to climb on that rotten mushrooms? You really have to climb on that shit to loot it? Rotten fish. Oh, God. It gets absurdly hard from lack of XP. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I mean, you kind of want to see and engage with the story anyway, right? So I don't know where the gnome, uh, where the gnome slaves are. Who's my favorite party member so far? Well, Asterion's sneak attacks have been really good. Uh, I feel like Shadowheart is a great like support character. Like she's either healing or buffing and stuff, so she's good. Karlak has gotten way more useful. Uh, Gadnon's been great too. Um, so yeah, it's been, um, really, I think everybody is, everybody's, it's not like any character's bad. It's just like, how do you use them? You grab a cane and whip these droogling beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing. And my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. Uh. Damn right I do. Getting cramps in my arm, trying to whip the droogling beasts back to work. Now get to the yeah, training, each class has its own purpose, right? Instead. What's behind the rubble? You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to Kanin, or to leave him. Investigate, examine the rubble for anything unusual. Uh, guidance, sure. Wow. <laughs> wow man these rolls are great solid rolls today huh you see only the most mundane of rocks and minerals call on the parasite what does he see <laughs> you're one of nears eh don't go burst in those head veins. I ain't joined your bat brain. Uh, 5310 thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggies. Looking ahead. At the my cane for an axe. So it wants me to whip. I want to have a word. The creature is disturbed. No, I can speak with animals. Hang on. Animal handling. Hang on. Where's my uh, speak with animals? No more. No more pain. No more work. All must die. What has you in such a state? Old death. Fire. I can smell it. It's too much, too much anger. I can't hold it in. If you strike, your masters will destroy the herd. Uh. Okay. Revolt. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm choosing here. All right. We will work. We will do as we're told. We will clear the way. Okay. We didn't have to hit him. Not enough caning for my tastes, but you got the job done. I almost feel bad about this. On the bells, I helped you and now you want me dead? There's an adamantine forge back there, Sharg. And I'm not the sharing type. Wow. Have lost Piece it. of shit. Down. Right right uh, is, is, the, is the goat on my side here? What a dick. Level five, level five, level four. I mean, these guys are pretty easy. I have reduced movement right now because of that. Okay. Down the hatch. Damn. Ah! 
He rolled a critical miss. I can't believe it. Wow, they really hate their animals. <laughs> why do they hate their why do they hate their animals so much? Jeez, man. fucking up hysteria on here oh uh, let's see forty five uh let's go ahead and I mean it's kind of I feel like it's a little bit pointless to bless for this fight I don't think this fight's too bad We'll go ahead and heal, uh, heal Asteria on here. There you go. Never a moment. Get rammed. Yeah. Save the animals. Ah, uh, try to. All right. Let's, uh. Reroll. And this guy's got a, a lot of armor advantage, doesn't he? Peach. That's a piece of shit. Right? <laughs> nice. Wonder if you can talk to the ox here. We actually just did. Wow, he's fucking this dude up. Ow. Right, who are we? Where is the dude we're fighting? Wow, these fucking critical misses. Oh my goodness. That lucky is really nice. Uh, so we are dazed. We have a disadvantage to save throws, can't take reactions, lose dexterity bonus to their armor class. Okay. Oh, uh, here, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's go ahead and do feed, huh? Yeah, sure. Nice. <laughs> uh... Nice. Still on my feet. Bro, you're kidding. That's it. Why is it so little? Oh, do you have like the cave bear shit or something? Is that why you're doing no damage? Nice. Nice. Okay. Just, just keep wailing on her, I guess. Ten HP. Jeez, critical miss, man. Fuck you. Lots of crits this fight. Lots of missing and lots of crits. There we go. All 
Okay. There we go. Thank you. Uh, javelin, fungus stew, mushroom. Can't give up now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a short rest. That was a. I feel like that was a harder fight than I thought it was going to be. Can't hurt anymore. We'll wait until it's safe to leave. Okay. What about the other one? I should speak up. Same thing. Gray one's gone. Good. We'll stay here until it's safe to leave. Okay. Open what about this body. Okay, same crap. Uh, was there another corpse over here that I loot the herd master to? Okay, let's see. We got camp supplies, a whipping cane, uh, scale mail, a wooden shield. You know, I don't think we've ever changed Carlac shield. That might be good for Carlac. I don't know. Um. She's using the safeguard shield. Uh, how does that compare? Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, not Carlac Shadowheart. I'm sorry. Okay, so this one's better because it has saving throw plus one. I think. I think their her current shield is better. Alrighty. They're gonna stay there until it's safe. I think so. Get the slag. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, what the slag is for. I guess I should take it, right? I will save the game. Okay. Let me uh, check out all these barrels for supplies and stuff. Carafe of wine. Rotten shit. You know, you click on the characters on the left and they start to compare what they have equipped. Right, yeah, I, I know, I know. I did I did find that out, yeah. What else we got? Okay, I think we're good. Hmm? Can we get some Gamba involved? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Devil Foil Mask. Weird. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. Then we know how to use a rope in this game. Can you actually use a rope for something? We did save the animals. It's true. Found one gold. There's enough gamba in the game right now. Uh, the silver stuff is decently valuable. Most survival is a skill. It doesn't get much love. Rope does nothing. I wonder if it's a reference joke about Divinity, Larian's other game. I wonder how the other games are. Like, how how are there other games before Baldur's Gate 3? Because I've, I've, I've never really... I know nothing about them. Survival is just treasure finding. Uh, Angelos, thank you for the 44 months. Thank you very much. They're similar. They're also good. Divinity is also very good. Hmm, interesting. Also very good, not quite as good. Oh, okay. I just like uh, Do out uh, uh, Dos one and two a lot. Is that what they're working on next? Uh, uh, Divinity or something? Is that their next game? All of a sudden, people are going to be very interested in what this dev is going to do next. I seem to remember I had a friend who was into Baldur's Gate like a million years ago, but like no, we were all like, what the hell is that? And we, we never got into it like a really long. How, how long ago was Baldur's Gate like one released? It was like a million years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a really long time ago. I had I had one friend who was into it. An orb of dark vision. Pure shadow. Me. Two more billion years. Um, it 
it's a little late to disarm this, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, well, we disarmed it. Might be a little late for it, though. Uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 are ball most super hard and finicky games. More marble plates here. Let's go ahead. Shit's on fire, yo. Uh, I guess you try to fucking disarm it too. Okay. Well, okay, one and two uh, hold up and play today. Are the, are, my first question is, are those games even available today? Like, if you wanted to play them, could you? <laughs> You can buy them on Steam. Enhanced editions. Oh, okay. Uh, whatever this thing is, is apparently really tough. Let's try this, I guess. They're available on the App Store. That's pretty cool. Kind of ugly and mechanically clunky now, but the story would still hold up. Okay, so whatever that was, we stopped that from happening again. Maybe, uh, maybe Asterion should lead the way. Although, who knows if his, uh, perception failed. No one back home will ever believe this. All of our perceptions are failed here. A long way to go still. Got to uh, the boy, thank you for the five months. Thank you, the boy. Appreciate that. Yep, Thanks everybody's for all the streams sucks. and good times this year. Happy holidays. Oh, finally we found it. Uh, thank you, the boy. Appreciate it, dude. Happy holidays, man. Okay, eventually we had enough bonuses that we got it. <laughs> yeah, let's go down here. See levers. See a long sword mold. Ooh, I wonder if you could like use the adamantine and the long sword mold and like make your own sword here. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe other cool things. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, can I bring this back now? No idea how this is gonna work. Is there another way around? Looks like there might be another way around over here somewhere too. Uh, would you want a weapon or would you want an armor piece if you can only choose one? Oh, and in this game, I feel like I would probably want a weapon. Although I feel like I also, may, maybe I would want armor since I have so many weapons already. A long sword mold. A steel mold used in forges to cast armor and weapons. Okay. Like, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Who needs armor when you wield uh, penis B? <laughs> um, so it looks like I can't make it across here. Let's keep going this way. An ad reminded me of something. Druinka, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Druinka. Uh, this area is kind of crazy, huh? Oh, uh, am I, um... I really want to get over here. 
I want to get there. Yeah, I know how to split my party. Now, for some reason, Asterion can't jump. I don't know why, but Asterion can't jump for shit. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It's so jumping is strength based. Is that what it is? I had no idea. There's double iron doors. Um. Uh, I'm insane. Thanks to resub shiny knots. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You got a brain of Keep your distance down. I have a scroll somewhere. Oh, I, you know what? I, I have a misty step. That works. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why is he here? Best be on my way. The hell is it? Oh. Come on, let's go. He made the jump. When did you split your party? I I just split it just now because it looks like Gabnon started jumping back for some reason. I don't know why. They always want to be together. I'm trying. I'm trying to fix it now. All right, let's all get back together. Come on, new plot from the air doesn't have enough room. Everybody just gives up and won't follow you. A it's damn right. Gabnon. So that's progress. Go drink a potion Another here too. All right, now we're all across. Let's see, what do we got here? A dormitory so plaque. To rot. How did this game win game Tell of the year? Who are weary, sleep I mean, just because, forget. just because you don't understand the game, that doesn't necessarily make it good or bad. You know, it's like Careful. I don't get this. All right. Where's all? Where's all? I don't understand. Where's Mario in this game? Just because you don't understand it doesn't make it bad. Okay, add a guidance bonus. Let's see. Can we unlock this? How did a revolutionary game win game of the year? Where's Mario? Okay, so the door is unlocked. We haven't saved in a while. Let's go ahead and save. My mind and, well, in it. I don't know where this ladder goes. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go inside here. Let's figure out what's in here. No traps, please. Wouldn't call it one of the best games ever. It's certainly a huge game with a ton of stuff. I mean, I don't really even have like a super solid opinion on the game, aside from the fact that I'm having a good time. But I mean, not every game. Some games, I don't know. Like some games are like tic-tac-toe and they're rapid fire and they're enjoyable, but they're shallow. Right? And then some games are gonna be like a longer, more drawn out thing. And it's, it's fine if you like one or not, but like, you know, I don't know. It seems kind of stupid to judge it without knowing anything about it. Yeah, I mean, it all really depends. Well said. Would you have played without it being voted on a 24 hour stream? I mean, with the, with the amount of people who would talk in this game up for a long time, I was, it definitely made me curious about, like, what's this game about? And uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far. Really, I think after all the fucking bullshit Mario I've been playing lately, I'd enjoy playing literally anything aside from that, so. I think it, it's... If you're one of those people... All right, if you're one of those people who... You can't play a turn-based game... You can't watch a foreign movie with subtitles. You can't fucking sit down and read a book. Like you, you, you're like, you can't allow yourself to do these things. That's not, that's not everybody. Everybody else doesn't give a fuck. That's your loss. You're the one missing out on that one. So, and, and if you're happy that way, then be my guest. But that, that's not, nobody else gives a fuck. That's your loss. So. 
that doesn't mean that all of these things are incredible you know because there are there's definitely bad foreign movies and there's bad you know like it's not like everything is great but it literally is it's nothing but your loss at that point Book need more pictures. Oh yeah, for sure. I like the Divinity, uh, Divinity Original Sin better, but that's because I really don't like Dungeons and Dragons. Baldur's Gate 3 is good enough, I can enjoy it, despite it being Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, more locked doors. Man, a lot of locked doors around here. Can you uh, lock like this? Uh, ooh, seems like it's really tough to lockpick. Uh, can we examine the doors? Seems like they're weak to slashing and to fire. Hey, Carlac. Chop the door down. Uh, Hell's Boar, Hell's Boar. A whole lot of Hell's Boars. And this is a Maragon Legionary. Uh, barbarian lock picking. Uh, Dark Oblivion, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you very much. Say Appreciate bye -bye. that. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, it must have like charged through me or something. Um. Oh, did I take damage because I'm burning, I guess? So all of that's causing me to take more damage, I suppose. I don't know, that hurt. Jeez, man. This game is an anomaly, Larry. Uh, Larry and Studios have their own engine they've been building forever. This game shows the passion of the team and all aspects of this field to put in touch the game. Oh man, dude, is, uh, where the fuck is Asterion's gotten fucking royally fucked? All right, let's go and heal everybody. What are these things anyway? Are they, they must be like beasts or something? Hell's boars? Uh... All right. Oh, they're, they're fiends. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I'm using how big studios were criticizing how good this game was. Uh, were they? Big studios were criticizing this guy. I didn't hear about that. That's Mr. Beast. Uh, let's go ahead and bless everybody. Although kind of feel like it's possible. I might get screwed out of that bless. We'll see. We're gonna feed on you. Yeah, give me the crit. Uh, I apparently got some kind of achievement. Oof. This guy must have crazy armor. He's got, he must have some crazy armor because I missed a lot on this dude. Take, well, that's how you knew this would be game of the year because it was intended intimidated so many students. Don't don't compare us to that game. So I have cleave. Uh, 
Nice. Um... Finally dead. Uh, do I want to heal? Uh, we did. We are in Q. This, this is a Q. This is like a weirdly difficult fight here. Uh, I would, but Asterion isn't close. I guess I'll wait. Go ahead and uh, wait a turn. Ow! Fucking things are rough, huh? How long is Elder Scrolls 6 being worked on? Uh, we, we really don't know anything about Elder Scrolls 6, do we? Nice. Um. Okay. There we go. All right. Couldn't care less. Elder Scrolls, Elden Ring, Baldur's Gate. We all, man, we're all burning forever, huh? I have a lot on my mind and... Well, I put the wind back in my sails. Hell's bore. Didn't drop too much. Okay, where is the uh, Legionnaire? Another devil foil mask. Uh, a Maragon Halberd. Five to fourteen damage. Very comfortable. Hmm. Five to fourteen. I wonder how that would compare to, let's say, like this one, or Carlac. Let's go give Carlac a lot of these random weapons for throwing. Let's see what else we got. I'll give her that too. Thanks. So right now, Sorrow does 6 to 15. I mean, having the Sorrowful Lash is, like, actually useful, though, so I don't think we want to stop using that. Yeah. Never a dull moment. Doing super cozy. We're doing lots of cleaning at home. I'm glad you're enjoying. Swift as my feet Ochre Jelly. Ochre Jelly Slime. Okay. Opulent chest. Whoa. Fire Stoker. 3 to 11 damage. Deals an additional 1 to 4 piercing damage to burning targets. Uh, is this one of those, like, it's lying to you weapons? Is this one of those, it's lying to you weapons? Do they have different weapons on Karlak if the opponent... Right. So, like, it's not actually that. It's actually, like, less... It's a lot less than that. That's a hand crossbow, so you can dual wield. So, like, you could have, like, you mean you could have, like, a sword in one hand and the crossbow in the other? Is that what you mean? Another mask. Oh, you can have a crossbow in each hand. You can dual wield hand crossbows. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so I suppose we're done. Still not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm, I, I, a long time ago, I came down here to find the, uh, to find and save the gnomes. Something good here, I hope. Throw these situational damage dealing weapons in the trash. I can at least send them to the camp, right? I mean, like, I don't know. Do the rusty keys do anything? Uh, I don't know what the keys do. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, you could combine that with, like, Gale and, like, you know, setting somebody on fire with oil or something like that. I could see that working as, like, a potential, right? Probably a lot of things that would work like that, you know? Keep the alchemist fire. I, dude, I have so many alchemist fire. It's crazy. I have a lot of those. So... We have to keep going south to free the deep gnomes, according to this. Let's move. Eh? Better not be cursed. Um, but I think what we're going to do. Oh, I, I was like, oh, shit. 
I thought it locked me out. <laughs> so we gotta keep going this way. How far into the game is this? We're still in act one. My characters are level five. Um, I don't know how many acts there are. Um, I've also heard that the, the acts are like different. So like one act may not be as long as the other acts or something. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not really in a rush, you know? Uh, what difficulty am I on? I am playing on Tactician. This is my first playthrough. This is all completely blind to me at this point. I've never seen any of this. Um. I would, so far to me, it seems like a lot of the difficulty was front-loaded. And that the game has, Hope you have the game a good has holiday become season and new year. considerably easier. All the easier. best to you and the girls. And it, it's not, it's also not that, like, I got better. It's that I just have more stuff now. So, uh, Shanster, thanks to Resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Shanster. Well, at the beginning of the game, like, you have, like, they throw you into some fights, right? You know, honestly, at the beginning of the game, it's weird. It's like you're level two, level three, and they're nonstop throwing, like, level fives and sixes and shit at you. And it's like, what are you supposed to do? Like, you can't. E you're having trouble even hitting the enemy. It's, it's kind of wild. Dark Justiciar Helm. Constitution saving throws. A scimitar mold. Oh, so we keep finding these molds. I guess like at some point we might be able to make a choice or something. The molds have to have a purpose, right? I, I want to keep this crown on you for sure. That healing crown is really good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the point of these are. Molds. Yeah, we haven't figured it out yet. Maybe at some point we're going to be able to make something. Ooh, a splint mold. There's another mold over there. Cool. Cool. Uh, all right. So I think we're going to do now is chat. I think we're going to save the game and we're going to call it there on this. The door said the